akaniambia babo e, nataka tuende kwa wakili tuwe tukiadikania babo wepo na nunua milioni 30 alikuwa anataka umuzie anunue hiyo jina yangu babo wepo for 30 million 30 million ilikuwa hapo kiti na duguye akaona baba yao kama wade mwada wazimu kalia bia <laughs> baba chukua <laughs> Thirty millions of those years, and I'm like, wow, oh, our problem, our problem are solved. But my father said it's a no. And Kamuli said, ah, thirty million. We have never even seen a hundred thousand altogether. One branch will give you more than fifty fifty fruits, and so if it has like ten branches, that will be around fifty. Uh, you multiply by that's around five hundred. Yeah. So and one fruit. Is about a thirty, but thirty bob Kenya yes. shilling. So you can imagine five hundred. You multiply by thirty, yeah. and that is one tree. So if you have a hundred, do yes. you think a lot of farmers? Do you think they sold their products without knowing their value? Yeah, they did without knowing mm. because sometimes you don't know, mm. and maybe you, you don't have that know-how yes. or you don't know what to do. Badala ya ku ati watoto watakuwa wakigawa na saida wasasi wame wame ku wame yaga. Lakini ukiwagaiwa saida wako na energy watajika kamoa hata hata sisi hao waligaiwa saida walikuwa na na ngufu ndio mtu akabadilisha akabadilisha mpaka akapata jia yake ya ku mm. ya kujitegemea ku, ya kujitegemea so trust the process one day your life is gonna change keep on believing you will be better than before So trust the pro had about wambogo apples but have we ever asked ourselves the question what really is the story of this legendary man not only do i get to talk to him but i get to talk to his wife who is very ah mom is just i don't know she just has a sense of humor and then i get to do the business the math the expectations with their lovely daughter kate and i hope you guys get inspired when you meskia eat three peke ni apple na hapa kudanga story za jaba this hapa ni mti iko 18 months and one harvest unaweza pata 500 apples na wame harvest hapa four times so this tree alone has given them almost 2000 apples even if you do the maths and say you are selling one apple at 30 bob halafu it's just one tree and they have thousands and thousands and thousands of tree do the maths guy farming has money let no one lie to you farming has money so i'm inviting you to today's episode of inspire global get to listen to this family and understand what exactly have they been through and what legacy do they want to leave to our country but before guys to watch gotta pay the bills mnajua mkiona niki travel you know who has brought me my daddy motors i don't have to talk to you more about them but if you are looking into importing a car investing kwenda driving school or even going for a car wash why don't you try my people at my daddy motors now let's listen in to the story of wambogo apple this is inspire global i'm your girl lingugi naito pita wambogo kago kago ni baba na sasa kule kwangu nilileo nikianza ka e, masomo mm. nilianza masomo na niliendelea na masomo mm. wakati niliona masomo inafikia ina, ina hapo ndio mm. mimi nilifikiria kazi masomo ilifikia wapi e, standard 7 eh e, zamani eh e, kwa ajili ili, ilikuwa hivyo Eh, zamani eh. lakini ni wakati huo ndio nikimaliza hiyo masomo nilipata msaidizi mm. 
huyo mzaidizi aliniambia tuagane niende koke nyumbani nikamsaidia kazi ya chaba, ya chaba. Mm. alikuwa mjechi mm. ana uh, ni uko kiganjo mm. nilienda kiganjo mm. wakati nilimaliza akaniambia tutaenda kiganjo tuanze hiyo kazi ya kulea kuku ya kulea nguruwe na vifaraga na ngombe mm. Waka, he, niliona ni, ni chida mm. lakini Mungu alikuwa mbele yangu wakati nilianza hiyo kazi eh kuji kujiwelekea mikononi yake ili maagano yetu nikimsaidia na mwili yangu ama maarifa yangu yote ata niangalia kama nitaenda niwe mwanajeshi mm. wakati huo ndio nilifanya nilifanya mpaka tukawa tuna tuko na kuku kama eruhu, eruhu mia, mia, mia saba. kuku kuku yenyewe kutoka zile vifaranga 100 kutoka 100 nilikuwa nikienda na robi usiku usiku ya tuseme saa tisa, saa kumi hivi mm. tunakuwa tunaenda kuchukua hiyo vifaranga na mayai mm. tuchukue kikwaru tuchukue vifaranga alafu tuende huko kale ni tuchukue mayai ili tupeleke kigajo itoke kigajo yede na nyuki mm. kwa ajili alikuwa mwanajeshi kano mm. wakati huo tukaendelea 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 unajua maagano yetu ni anisa ni msaidie naye aya akinisaidia nyumae niende niwe mwanajeshi mm. lakini nikifanya aliona mtu msuri aliamini na roho yake sitakuwa nikienda lakini sikujua mm. nikaendelea E, mwaka uka, ukawa ni miaka 4 nikamuuliza sasa nawa inakuwa miaka 4 na hatu taeda naona si 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 taeda si zaidiki mm. ateniende kwa jeshi mm. sasa uniambie ni kama nitaeda ama niache hii kazi niende course course ingine ile ni mungu atanionyesha nitaeda mm. course gani e sasa nikimfinya nikimfinya tukiwa wawili tukamfinya mpaka tukawa siku moja akatuambia sasa tarehe lini tutakuwa tukienda lolingo mm. tu tufanye mazoezi ili tuone kama tutachukuliwa mm. nikaomba Mungu nikamwambia Mungu kama hii Mungu ndio itarudi itafanya nirudi kwa guruwe na kuku Mungu nisaidie unipe nguvu ni kibia kuliko wale wengine Mungu akanipatia nguvu ni wakati tulienda kama kilomita nane hivi kuanzia makibisi hapo ufile wanajeshi wanafanywa mm. sasa nikakibia nikakibia baka nika hata ile dereva alikuwa anatuogoza kuangalia hivi akaona niko nyuma yake akaogesa nguvu ya ingine tukaenda nikienda wakati huo ulikuwa 19 ni hot 1977 haya wale wa, 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 wa uh, unajua lazima upewe karatasi mm. na bawan namba 2 hivi vile mm. mnakuja yangu ilikuwa na bawan lakini wanajeshi wakakata akanikatalia kwa ajili unajua siku julikana sana nilikuwa haya lakini nikapewa karatasi ya tu, e, namba 22 nikawa kwa orodha ile ya watu kutoka namba 1 hadi hadi 30 mm. nikatukawa tunaingia kwa uwaja wakati tulipimwa tukawa tunajulikana mm. kama tutaenda lakini mm. wakati ilifika wakati wa mezi wakawa waka ile bibi akawa na akawa hapo yule alitumbeleka huko ndio mm. ali, alipiga bomu akasema tuko na ma, na, na ugojo wa maji ya nyeli si kujua kama maji iko na na ugojwa lakini alituelekea akatuwekea juu mm. tuko na na ugojo wa maji ya nyeli mm. sasa wale wajeji kuzikia hivyo walitufukuza tuende nyumbani 
tukarudi kwa kuku ndio niliomba Mungu Mungu sasa hii ma, maneno ya kufanya kasi miaka ine bila kupata ile kazi tuliagana mm. Mungu nionyeshe njia ingine akanionyesha sasa nikaanza kutafuta kosi ya makanika ndio nilifikiria ni Edenyeli kwa makanika haya nikiwa kwa makanika sasa wakati niliingia kwa ajili niliacha ile mambo unajua lazima ufikirie mm. hii kiku, ikileta chida uache hiyo uendelee na ingine mm. sasa tukiwa nikiwa kwa makanika <laughs> ni eh, dikafanya miezi kadhaa miezi kama miwili mitatu mwaka moja haya nikapata mchana nikapata <laughs> <laughs> nani <laughs> hata nikiwa hakuangalia <laughs> kama niko na wili <laughs> agali akaniambia sasa tupedane ndadu atiakasema aje tupedane yeye akakwambia eh akaniambia hivyo nikakubali ulikuwa ulikuwa na miaka ngapi hapa ilikuwa na 18 tukapedane hapo hapa ni mi, si kufikiria ni nitampenda eh. kwa ajili ya umasikini yule yuko nyumbani akaniambia lazima tupadane unajua <laughs> kuna katika kitabu nilikuwa nikisoma <laughs> kwa hiyo nikiwa chule Nilio, niliona ka, ka kitabu na nilika peda sana kaliitwa na hana hela eh. na akiendelea na umasikini yake dia lietwa hana hela <laughs> Hana hela. Hana hela. Haya. Huyu. Rasa naye nikapata huyu msichana naye kama sina wangu. Sina wangu. Na mimi ni mwana hela. Na hela. Tukaendelea hivyo. Mkapendana. Tukapendana hapo. Eh. Lakini nyumbani nilifinya hivi zijulikane niko na, na mchana. Hakujulikana. Tukamaliza miaka tukamaliza miaka. Kwa nini ulifinya? Kwa nini ukuna? Baba yangu ni, nilikuwa mm. ilikuwa fikirio yangu sitaki ijulikane ni watu. Kwa ajili mimi maskini natoka pale miaka miaka ine, na kuja makanika mwaka moja nianze hii mambo ya ya, ya, ya kuona <laughs> nitapeleka nitapeleka wapi <laughs> sasa <laughs> tulikuwa tunajenga kanyumba kanyumba kama tope mm. ukiwekelea matope hivi machimo inaonekana kutoka hapa kilomita moja <laughs> lakini hatukujali mm tuliomba mugu tu tukiwa wizizi uh, wawili sasa aliku, ali, mbona alisema yeye amekupendea nini nini aliona unajua ya mugu ni mengi eh sikumpenda eh. naye aliniambia hivyo nami nikaendelea na makani nikaendelea wakati e, tulikaa tukaona twende nyumbani hmm. siku moja A, kama kama siku za na moja hivi tusionekane si, na watu hmm lakini tukaenda nyumbani ndio hapo nilikuwa nikifikiria ama ni maneno ya Mungu tukakaa tukakaa tukaabiana sasa na uliwachio uliwachio shaba ni baba situe tukitengeneza hiyo shaba itusaidie mm. hata ukiwa makanika tuwe tukienda Friday Friday na Friday kutoka Friday mpaka mm. Jumapili mm tukaendelea tukaendelea so we, wewe baba alikuachia shamba eh na e. na aliaga na 1968 unajua e. ni bali e. nilikuwa kama mtu kadogo hapa na nilikuwa nikifanya kazi hata nilifanyia baba baka ni kama ni bariki mikono hivi na maji kaniambia we na bariki mikono sitakuachia kitu kama naaga sitakuachia kitu lakini na kuachia mikono yako uvanye bidi utakuwa na vitu Mm. Haya, tukaendelea. Mama yangu iko. Mm. Lakini huyu bibi naye alikuwa na na nguvu na upendo mingi na kama mimi. 
tukasaidia na tukasaidia unajua tulikuwa tukiamuka za kumi za saa tisa ya usiku kuna mwezi hivi ya yeah? sasa tukachukua jebe tukachibua kuchibua kwetu na kujibulia wengine walikuwa hawa walikuwa mbele yangu mm. walikuwa na walienda jeshi mm. tukachibulia hawa wengine baka sasa tukaanza kufikiria kupada kahawa kwetu na kwa hawa wadugu wetu tukapada kahawa kapada sasa ka, wakati wa kusaa kahawa tulikuwa tukichidana wale wakiwa wanatoka kwa, je, kwa jeshi mm wakakuja wakawa nakuja kuangalia kahawa tulikuwa tunategemea tuna vizuri Ka, kahawa yetu na bibi yangu kalikuwa kakitoka kilo kilo 1300 nikamwambia sasa nitaada kwa kwa mashini huko kwa kwa vivada mm. kiwada ya kahawa niangalie kama ni tulipewa kitu wakati nilienda ni wa, niliuliza karani huko nilimuuliza pesa yangu iko wapi na niko na kilo yangu ndio hii elfu tatu nikaambiwa hakuna chiligi huko naye kwa ajili e, ulichukua ulichukua roni nikawauliza ni roni gani nilibeba ni majembe ama ni fertilizer ama ni pesa gani akaniambia president yenyewe aliamuru kila machini kila machini wao wakizunguka na 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 na, na, na bastora mm. wakizunguka hivi wachukue hiyo pesa kwa radhi nikaona hai nitakuwa slaves tutakuwa slaves mm. Nite, tukisaa watoto sasa tutawasomesha na nini niliambia niliambia bibi msi takuwa slaves ya mtu kutoka leo ni watu watakuwa akisikia tulikuwa na kahawa nikaamuka mapema na natufa na, na, na paga nilienda za kumi ya usiku nikakata kahawa nikakata nikakata yote Eru, um, ilikuwa mia, mia ine. Mm. miti mia ine. yote nikamwaga kwa mto ikiwa ni pichi ikiwa ni, ni ile iko tayari na ile boni yote nikaweka kwa kwa mto sasa nikaamuru kupada kupada tree tomato. E. Haya hiyo tree tomato kwa ajili hii ni ni laini, mm. laini laini. Akahawa. Hapa katikati nikapada katikati ya ya malaini ile. Nikapada matunda ya tree tomato. Mm. Kupada hivi ili saa baka ikawa inaaguka. Haya. Na ingine nilikuwa niki ile passion kwa kama ile miti mm. nilikuwa nikipada hivi ikawa natoka gunia moja mm. na hii tutu tomato ikatoka e, gunia moja F, mpago ya mugu hajulikani kama nilikuta kijana kama huyu mm. uko na nyuki nikipeleka hii magunia yangu mbili haya ilizimamisha kwa soko mm. haya nikiangalia mtu yule atakuja kuninunulia wakati mu, wakati huo kijana huyo akaja simujui akaniuliza sasa wewe hii magunia bili ita, itaishia hapa nikamuuliza wewe kijana unaniuliza nini na sasa nilikuja nilitoka nyeri na, ni, na niko na nyuki na nisikuje ninakuja kwa soko nifanye nini akaniambia wewe chukua chukua nini matuda kadhaa iwe sambu ya tomato na ya passion nikuonyeshe mahali utapeleka order utakuwa ukipeleka ma order ya hii mm. passion na hii tuta mm. tomato haya nikakubali ya mungu ni megi haya akaniambia unaona ile sehemu iko ile ile wash mm. ile ya, ya, ya kajo usimame hapo kwa ajili kuna kuna gari ya, ya kazi kutoka Mount Kenya Safari Club kuna watu tuna tunabebaga mm. tunawalete tunawarudisha mm. hapo uzimame saa nane ikizimama hivi uzimame hapo nikukute hapo nikupelekee kwa 
kwa ma, kwa ndugu yangu mm. yeye mauti Kenya ako chef haya nikakubali tukienda tulienda tukamkuta akaniuliza wewe unaitwa nini unaitwa abu we sasa hii kijana anakuleta nikupe order eh ndio eh alikuwa anaandika ipo yenyewe yanze ndio ita, itakuwa mwanzo mm. haya tulituma to ifuate na tili, na pacho nifuate mm. sasa ndio niliandikiwa nili hivyo nianze e, order ndio nimpeleke ni wakati nilipeleka kama miezi mitatu hivi akaniambia wewe me e, manager ali, ali tuabia, usipade gari ya ya hawa ya, ya, mm. ya staff mm. sasa uwe ukija na gari yako we tutakuvugia kidogo ili ukatavute gari ili we ukija kwa ajili kuna wanyama siba na na mm. dovu haya nikamuuliza sasa chefu unaniambiaje na sina mapenzi hata ya kuzomecha watoto zina unaniambia nikatavute gari nitatoa wapi hata baisikeli hata mguu ya baisikeli zina ya kununua. Haya, tukaendelea naye. Kaniambia tutafuga. Akanifugia. Lakini akaniambia wewe wabo usiende ukalale. Wewe uende kwa ajili wananchi wako na na, na epo. Uende ukaangalie kama kuna epo kwa ajili aliniandikia ile epo aliniandikia. Nimuulize nilimuuliza ni, 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 nitatoa wapi epo. Kaniambia wewe atakuwa ukinunua kwa duka ile tunanunuaga tunaacha kununua wewe uwe ukinunua mm. ulete pamoja na hii ndio mm. nakupa order mzuri mm. haya tukiachana naye akaniambia sasa uende uangalie kwa nani kama kuna matunda yapo mm. sasa nikasuguka ni madam nikasuguka nikasuguka unajua hii ilikuwa doto ya 1980 tukiwa na bibi huyu niliota doto nikiwa na, naona naona tukivuna chaba yetu kwa ajili wale unajua ni walikuwa wanajeshi mm. doto ikaja nikaonyeshwa e, tukivuna tukivuna matuda tukipeleka uwaja wa ndege tukawa tunagawanya pesa hivi hiyo doto niliuliza mungu hii doto unaliletea nitatoa wapi na sijui hapo nini Dio hiyo line yote na kuambia mpaka mauti Kenya. Unaona line hii inaambiwa ni ni, e, ni chefu. Mm. Wewe uende kwa nani? Kwa nani? Ya mugu akifugua mlango hakuna mtu wa kufuga. Mm-hmm. Haya tuliachana. Lakini wakati huo niliondoka huko nikazunguka nikazunguka nilikuwa na nakomboa baisikeli ya mtu. Hakukua boda akugua tax ni baisikeli ya mtu uende ukakoboe uka uende na ukienda kwa mu, kwa mlima ni ku alafu ukiteremka utateremka rahisi mm. haya nikaenda kwa kwa watu nikanunua sawari ya kwanza na nilikuwa nikiangalia vile chevu aliniambia miti nilikuta haipo moja 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 types type elfu arobaine nikaonele wakati huo nikisuguka kuna bibi moja aliona nikitabika mm. aliniuliza wewe wa bogo unaitwa wa bogo nasikia unaitwa wa bogo eh aliniambia we kecho ukuje na magunia na madebe sitakuwa mtu wa kukuletea maneno baya we kesho ukuje na magunia na madebe mahali tuna tunaenda kuvuna kuni tulikuwa tuni, tunaona nyani mm. ikikula matuda eh hiyo matuda unauliza kuna miti iko na diameter ya viti tisa kuja na gazi kesho na magunia haya vune nikaenda na, na mtu tukaenda tukiwa wawili tukategeneza gazi muti ulikuwa diameter viti tisa kama ni, ni, ni kubwa kuliko hii kiti mm. haya 
nikivuna hiyo matuda nikipeleka kule nione kama wata, watakubali hiyo mm, mm. kwa ajili ya hii taipuni ya ruvu 40 mm. kuna loud haya hiyo ujue e, uliniuliza nilitoka wapi mm. haya hapo niliona niliuliza huyu huyu bibi anakuwa anapeleka ananipeleka huko kube anajua hadithi ya, ya waumaumau na maumau ndio walikuwa napeleka hiyo miti kutoka kwa msugu oshadi ya msugu aba ama chaba boy wakaenda wakavicha huko kwa ajili walionelea ikiwasaidia walikuwa anatoa wakitoka kwa msitu wakaenda kwa msugu mzugu akienda wakaenda kwa, kwa mpichi kama hawa wanapika hapa mm. akaliza pichi pichi najua kuna maneno maagano baya walikuwa wanafanya mm. maagano ya huyu mzugu akienda utukubali tukakala hiyo matuda haya wakiona waki hiyo hii ma, ma, mapigano ikiendelea pengine mzugu akiona tutamshida pengine atangoa miti na ama achome eh ama achome haya wakachukua beko ile ilikuwa na mea mm-hmm. wakapeleka huko kwa msitu na miti ka ikakibia ika kwa ajili ya ile bolea na mm. na mvua najua mvua ina inaendelea kwa wiki ndio ilisa ndio walikuwa wakikula huko wakati walipiga msugu walizao kurudisha kwa machaba yao ndio mm. fikirio yao ilikuwa wafikirie tukipiga msugu aende tutatudisha hiyo mm. miti ya yetu eh uko kwa hizo shamba kwa machaba yetu ile tutampiga ende mm. akienda ndio mm. alisahau ndio mimi nilikuwa na, na hiyo hadithi naenda kwa msitu nakuta walisahau wengine waliaga yeah? lakini sasa nilikuwa hiyo maneno yote nilikuwa uh, naona mugu ndio aliniwekea kwa kwa bega ni bebe hii ipo unaona hapa sasa wakati huo ndio nilikuwa nikipeleka kwa na gaseti kama vijana hawa niliwapelekea hili niliwakatia mm. waoje wakioja wakaniuliza wabogo sasa hii matunda unanunua nilikuwa na bagi nilikuwa ulinunua uli wapi ili utulete nikaambia vijana mimi mkulima nilikuwa miti mbili kwa ajili bi huyu bibi nilimuogopa unajua kwa heshima mm. lazima uogope watoto ama mm. kwa ajili ukivanya na kivua wanye ma, maneno baya si watatabika nikaona nipade miti mbili hivi ili nione ni itaedaje kube hii miti unjue turudi nyuma kidogo mm. ujue matunda hii ilikuwa dark green dark green kana kama ile nyasi mm lakini kupelekea yule chevu akaniambia wabu wewe vile unafanyaga na akili yako yote jaribu ku, kugeuza hii tuda uone itakujaje mm. ndio nilichukua nilichukua begu nililetewa ni rafiki mm. moja wake alikuwa naenda South Africa mwingine akaenda Israel mm. wakaniletea begu nikauliza kama hii ni fidore yeah? nikiuganisha hivi sitakuwa kitu mzuri. Mm. Haya nikaoganisha matunda yangu. Kuganisha hivyo siku kuwa na nachukua na, na begu kwa mtu. Mm. Ile muti, ile miti miwili nilitoa kwa msitu. Nikaoganisha ikawa ikawa four in one. Four in one ni kama kumaanisha hivi we unaweka maji kwa jiko. Unaweka shukari, unaweka majani, unaweka ama siwa. Mm. Sicha inakuwa. Ndio <laughs> nilifikiria nifanye hivyo. Si kugua na maneno ya mtu hata hata usaidizi wa mtu mm. ni usaidizi wa kutoka kwa Mungu. Tuda ikafanya. Ikawa safi. Ikawa nageuka kuwa kuwa green ikawa leda de yellow. Ndio hivi unaona. Mm, mm. Hata hii ya jaifa kumsuli. Mm. Ajaiva? Eh. Lazima iwe ragi kama hii. Eh. Ikiiva. Eh. Na hii ragi kwa tuda hii. Eh. 
ikiiva kabisa yelo hii green hii itakuwa yelo hapa ehe hapa eh e. na hapa hii mwili mm. iwe red mm. haya hii red ikiwa safi kabisa inaingia ndani ya ya tuda kula hivi mm. unaangalia ni red ndani si white inakuwa, ni red eh na kuaga hivyo hii masomo yangu na nilipewa ni mwingi <laughs> Eh. Sasa hiyo batuda ilikaendelea mm. naye. Baka nikawa ba, e, nikivikiria badala kwa kupelekea watu wananyuki. Hebu nione na, napita nyeri kwetu. Nione watu wanye, ni wapelekee watu wa nyeri, nione watafikiria nini mm. kwa kichwa yao. Ndio nilitupelekea hiyo. Nilianza kwa hiyo vijana aya vijana waka, wa, nikawakatia nikiwakatia waka, wakala hivi wakaniuliza hii matunda hii unanunua wapi ili utulete ilikuwa na bagi kubwa hivi bili hivi haya hiyo vijana wakaniuliza eh sasa unatuambia aje ati ni kwako wewe ujiga gani huko naye na ujidai gani hakuna matunda iko iko Kenya Tunajua matunda inatoka South Africa na Israel. Haya wakanioba naba yao, naba yangu nikawapa. Sasa nikawaambia mkitaka Israeli ama South Africa mkuje kwa mm. Kwa ajili najua afili anasema. Haya tukaachana na wajana na vijana. Wakati wa Jumapili niliona um, katoto kadogo hivi kalitumwa ni wale watu uh, wa gazeti. Mm. Haya kakaniambia kuna watu wanakuita kwa pale kwa geti. Haya nikatoka. <coughs> si sarau si fanyega masarau hata ni msee ama mm. ni nikatoto. Mm. Haya nikatoka. Haya nikawakuta. Wakaniambia sasa tunakuja kuona Israeli ile na South Africa ile unayokuwa unatuambia. Mm. Unajua tuko kanisani. Haya nyumbani ni kilomita kama bili, eh, moja hivi. Haya nikapada gari yao haya tukaenda wa vijana waka wakavuna waka matunda kumi mu, mtu kumi kumi kubwa kama hivi mm. kuliko hii mm. habia sasa kuleni wakala wakala tuda ya ya, ya, ya pili ni kujivinya walikuwa na vinya kuweka kwa mdomo mm. kwa ajili walichipa ile moja na nusu haya nikaambia mariseni akabia akaniambia tutamaliza na una gani nikaambia sasa tendeni nirudi kwa kanisa mm. wakaniambia hatutarudi kwa kanisa dakika hii kwa ajili utapada muti e, tukupige picha na kulikuwa na video kamera kama hii mm. na na na, na, vi, na yule kamera ya, ya kawaida mm. na mwandishi wakaandika ndio kulitoka gazeti ya 2 hapo ndio mwanzo haya wakati ni, ni, wa, ni e, wakati gazeti hiyo ilitoka mm. kuna vijana walikuta walinikuta nikipumzika waliniambia wewe twende tukaona dukani kuna nini nikawafuata kuwafuata waliniambia tulikuwa tukichekelea wewe kwa ajili tunafurahi kwa kuona mtu yetu iko kwa gazeti ako na matuda inajulikana Haya matuda kube wale wa <coughs> kuna maneno tuliacha kidogo mm. kuna wakati huo ndio hawa wa gazeti wa nation waliita watu wa wakali waliita watu wakali kujeni kuna mtu hapa tuliona tukaona ni maajabu kujeni mumuone na nyinyi wakaja kukuja kwao walichukua mizizi na na mchaga na matawi na tuda kupeleka laboratory ilijulikana tuda yangu kile kiko ndani yake haiko dunia mzima hata mimi na nilichaga mm. nikaabiaje sasa hii tu tuna tutaandika <coughs> ati wewe ndio mwanzilishi wa ipo ama matufa wewe ndio mwanzilishi na tuta tutaandika we ndio msemo eh, tukupe hata jina inaitwa waboko ipo ndio mm. maneno ilitokea mpaka hapo kuandika mm. hivyo 
watu wana wanakuja wengi wengi wakanisai wakanibebereza ati twende kwa kwa, kwa maidi ndani nikamwambia mimi hapana aenda kwa maidi unataka nini hatunataka kujua vile unafanya na tupeleke mm. mahali unatoa hii matu hii miti nikamwambia mimi hapana nataka ku mimi hapana waesau kwa ajili mnanifanya kama hesabu vile ali, ali, ali usa nini moyo yake kwa chakula ya siku moja mimi hapana nataka namna hiyo ndio maneno ili iliendelea mm-hmm. mpaka sasa nikasomesha tukasomesha na bibi yangu watoto tukasomesha na hii matuda tukasomesha baka nikawa je inafuguka mm-hmm. yote ndio sasa nilionelea kuna mzugu tuseme hivyo <laughs> ni mweupe nitaki <laughs> kutaja kutaja jida yake <laughs> haya wakati ya hii gazeti 2 Nikawa na napeleka <laughs> napeleka miti na lobby. Haya kupeleka na lobby nilipigiwa nikiwa sana ni saa tatu. Mm. Nipigwa nikaulizwa nikaulizwa wabaya diwa bogo kwa ajili ya ile gazeti. Mm-hmm. Akaniuliza sasa uko wapi? Mtu mweupe watu weupe. Mm. Haya nikaambia niko hapa Tirumu nikielekea nyumbani. Ah tuko na, na, na bahati sana ukuje wesi mm. e, tutakuwa tukiagana maneno kadhaa haya nikafikiria madam sasa hawa watu wengine wanataka miti kama tha, mia, mia tatu, mia ine hivi mm. wa bogo wao tajiri mm. <laughs> niweka pesa kubana niti ya bala zikujua ni, unajua nilikuwa na raha hiyo mm. lakini wakati ya Uh, aliniambia niende saa tano lakini nikakaaga akaniambia niende saa saba kugeuza masaa nikafikiria kama ni wakora najua la, lazima mm. utumie kichwa yako mm. haya nikaita bi, nikaita kiti na nikaita kijana mm. duguye mm. naitwa Martin haya kujeni munipeleke kwa ajili siku hawa watu wananiita siwajui haya tuendeni saa saba tukafika hapo tukiingia kwa mlango nilikuwa naona watu weupe nikachukua simu nikapiga ini nione ni, ni mtu gani ana atachukua atachukua haya nikawaka nikawaka nikakaribia e kaniuliza sasa wewe ndio wapo e. na haya nikawakina nani hii ni watoto wangu kwa ajili saa ile uligeuza masaa Uliniambia ni saa tano uka, ukageuza ukasema mm. ni saa saba. Nilifikiria ni, wa, ni, ni wakora. Mm. Lazima ni nifuatilie ni mawazo mm. ya Mungu. Mm-hmm. Haya. Akaniambia sasa mkae chini mtakula nini? Yaani kachai tu. Mm. Sitaki maneno mengi. Nataka kuzikia kama ni miti ama ni maneno ingine. Haya, hawa akaniambia sasa kunyweni chai. Tukifikisha chai nusu akaniambia wabo e, nataka tuende kwa wakili tuwe tukiadikania wabo wepo na nunua milioni 30 ugezekiaje wada alikuwa anataka umuzie anunue hiyo jina yangu wabo wepo for that million that million ilikuwa hapo na na na, na, na saduku nikamwambia mimi hapana hesabu eh ilikuwa hapo dola milioni 30 ya milioni 30 kaniambia iko hapa twende kwa wakili unajua watu iko na maneno mengi kwa ajili walikuwa wachukue hiyo jina mm. ingekuwa sasa ingekuwa kama ya wazungu eh hii hamuge kuja hapa haijionekana ha eh? nikamwambia mimi hapana nataka pesa watu waka <coughs> huyu kiti na duguye akaona baba yao kama wade mwada wazimu kalia bia <laughs> baba chukua akaambia <laughs> mimi hana fanya namna hiyo zina tawaya ya pesa nikawaambia hii doto ilikuwa 1980 sasa nikiuza kama hesabu vile alivyofikiwa ni mugu e, 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 aliusa akauzia jakofu mm. 
Sasa nami mnataka niuze namna hiyo. Niuze nyota yangu. Sitachukua. Hakuzikia zita hatutaenda na zita achukua. Wakachukua saduku mm. yao akaenda. Ah watoto wako ah kumaliza jai wali. <laughs> wali kazirika. Hey. Waliniambia baba. Wana unakata pesa kama hiyo. Situgeenda na, na mtu kila mtu ngali yake. Nili wa uliza sasa mnatamani gari na niaki ni siku chache fikirio yangu ama doto ya Mungu niwe nikiwanunulia mashaba tuwe tu kila mtu awe na chaba yake na matunda yake kila mtu na matunda yake sasa hakuamini kwa ajili tulikuwa na wana dhiri kuota mm. wana dhiri wakaangalia tutatokea wapi na pesa ni iko hapo nilikataa <laughs> sasa nikaambia keti hata ukiwa unaolewa hata we kalo unakuwa unaolewa olewa na wii na nyinyi mkiwoa mtakuwa na kila mtu mchaba yake nitanunua ndio mungu alinipanua alipanudia alivichua macho hivi mm. nikaja hapa ndio mm. nilinunua hii chaba nikaekea keti nikanunulia duwe nikaeka ka pade ile duwe yake pade ile na dada yake pa pade ile na sisi na bibi na, na mama yao tukawa tu, tu, tuko na ekali 10 hivi mm. tukawa nikawabia sasa tuendelee safari hapana saoni ile ma iliyopita apembeleza ka watoto unapembeleza ka watoto zidio hiyo hiyo watoto ile ile mafikirio itoke eh hey, iwaichie eh ndio nili, nilikuja hapa nikachukua nini nikachukua watu mm-hmm. nikaapa washibue mm. e, tigatiga uvenzi maji hivyo yote ndio sasa mtu iko na na chaba yake na mtu kwa hizi ni eka ngapi zote ulinunua hii ni ni zote karine. zote zenye ulinunulia watoto eh, eh tuseme ni 20 20 eh. na na ine. na wewe ukachukua yako eh Yagu ni ni kakumi. Eh ni. Eh. Lazima ujifikirie yani. Ukiwapa yote nitatabii. Acha watafute kidogo pia. Ehe. Awe dele. Eh. Kukaja hata wasugu kutoka nje. Wakaniuliza sasa uliwabia ulichida dunia namna gani? Alikuwa anaitwa Steve kutoka America. Nikamuuliza sasa una unaniambia unaniuliza hiyo maneno si maneno ya Mungu eh yeah. wewe pada ile muti <laughs> anda hata picha yake iko eh. pale wewe pada muti uwe uvune ukuje hapa ukule tuone kama utasikia kama mm. ni yako mm. usizeme nilichida namna gani mm. ndio alikula hivi akawa anachukua kalamu aka kachukua kitabu ya wageni akaandika wada for heaven nimevika mahali ya Mungu napiga wow. mbuli si unaona maneno eh, sasa eh. nikulize dad eh. Eh. watoto eh. uliwa walikubali aje kuingilia maneno ya ukulima eh ni mzuri hivyo kuuliza mm. hivyo unajua mam eh, wasasi ndio wakubwa kwa watoto vile utaelekeza watoto wako watakufuata. Vile mm. niliwaonyesha vile hadithi hiyo na kuwapatia waliona hivi vile na lobby. Wanaona sasa nikiuza ma, matuda. Mm. Unajua nilikuwa niki, nikija hiyo ni, ni maswali masuri. E. Walikubali kwa ajili. Waliona nikitoka kuuza matuda. Ni, nilikuwa na mivuko mingi. Nilikuwa kama hivi. Nilikuwa naweka pesa hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi unajua na, lazima ikujane mm. <laughs> tukija je, je, <laughs> tukija jioni na habia na habia mama yao lete pasa uchukue hiyo pesa upige pasa ilikuwa ili iwe iwe sawa eh. waliona maajabu hao ndio walikubali pesa inapatikana kwa japa na niliwanunulia chaba Dio alianza ndi tulianza kupada hapa. Niliwaambia utaenda kutafuta kazi ikuletee nini? Isipokuwa uchukue hii 
na nyinyi mtakuwa mkisaidia watoto wa watoto hatukuwa tu tuna, tuna tamati pesa ya mtu tuuze jina eh? sasa muendelee na kila mtu chaba yake yake nyumae mtawanunulia watoto wenu maproti na machaba ili yule atakuwa akikubali kulima alime mm. na yule atakukubali kukae e, mm. town akae mm. lakini wa, 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 nikimuonyesha hivi na mkubali watoto wenu watakuwa wakikubali mm. hii njia niruhusu nilete mam hapa eh. kwa sababu kuna swali nataka kumuuliza eh, kabla kita kuje Mamu habari nzuri sana. Uko salama? Salama sana. Very smart. Thank you. Sasa huyu hapa <laughs> <laughs> ametuambia kahadithi mm. tumefurahi sana. Huyu mm. huyu mamu uliona nini uliona ikakupendeza kwake? Huyu. Eh <laughs> 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 e, tulipatana tu kama vile watu huwa napatana. <laughs> Tukaogea e. na tukasikizana. Eh. Hey, mm. Tukaelewana. Eh, hey, mumekuwa pamoja miaka ngapi? <laughs> Sasa tuko na more than 45. Pamoja. Yes. 45. 45 years. Eh. Hey. Eh. Hey. 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 Sasa ile <laughs> <laughs> kitu unaweza sema hey. imekuwe imewaweka nyinyi pamoja mm-hmm. kama bibi na bwana mm-hmm. ni nini? Ni umoja. Ah. Eh, hey, tukiongea kitu tunasikilizana tunafanya tunaendelea e... hakuna pahadi ya kutaji amesema mimi na bibi yangu mimi na um msichana wangu mimi 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 lakini alisema kuna siku aliamka akakasirika mm. akaenda mm-hmm. kwa hiyo kahawa yote e... akakata akakata e... wewe ulihisi aje yenyewe nilihisi kidogo ubaya mm. juu niliona kama tumeisha lakini baadaye nikaona hatuishi ndio tulianza sasa kupanda hii matunda ya apples mm. eh kila unafuata ile kitu mnawaza mnafanya pamoja eh 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 tuingilie watoto eh. saa yenye yeye anapambana huko tiru anapeleka vitu <laughs> eh. anaenda kwa restaurant anapeleka mm-hmm. wewe huku nyuma unamshikilia na, aje mi, nilikuwa na ashwa eh. na nikitayarisha zile zingine atakuwa anapeleka kecho anakuja anapata kama nimetayarisha mm. e... na watu wengi e. wakiendelea na maisha mm-hmm. si unaona nyinyi sasa mmekuwa kwa doa miaka 45 e. unapata mume pambana na mtu mm. lakini venye maisha imeshakuwa sawa huyu mm-hmm. mtu anachukua njia ingine mm-hmm. tofauti mm-hmm. ungetaka kusema nini ningependa kusema ningetaka kusema ni vizuri watu wanaongea kitu wanasikizana wanafanya kitu moja na sasa wanafanya kitu moja maisha inakuwa rahisi mm. lakini mtu mmoja akielekea hivi mwingine hivi kuna kuwa na uzito mm. juu unaona jia mbili zinaenda hivi mm. asiyesi shikana kwa hivyo ni vizuri watu washikane na washirikiane mm-hmm. e, kwa maisha yenu ni e, nini yashafanya ama kukufanyia ikakupendeza sana mimi eh. <laughs> <laughs> Itu ile isha ni pedesa mm. ni etie hapendi mambo mengi. Mm. Eh hata akieda huko alikuwa anaenda masoko anakuja tu na pesa na mwaga kwa mesa tu na hesabu na yeye. Kizipiga pasi. Eh hata <laughs> eh, alikuwa anakuja zote hivi machilingi, manoti mm. tuna hesabu pamoja. Unaona hapo naona kuna transparency. Mm. Eh ametuambia kuna pahali alipewa eh, pesa mingi eh, apeane jina yake eh, akakata ulihisi aje mimi mimi tu nili, nilisikia kama amekosea kidogo <laughs> lakini aha nikaona tu vile ameamua eh. ni sawa na ilikuwa sawa ukosema ukweli lakini watoto walimuuliza kweli dadi unaweza washa hizi pesa waambia wewe maisha ni mrefu lakini kutoka hapo sasa tumeona mm. juu hata zile pesa alikuwa apewe na saa hii 
Ai. Ni mbali sana. Ni mbali hata sijui ile ile vile tungekuwa tukisema sasa hivi. Eh. Eh. Na sasa dad eh. nikuulize oh. wewe yeye amesema wewe ni nini bibi yako ashafanya <laughs> ikakufurahisha sana. Ni vifa ni ni kukaa bila bila maneno mengi. Unajua lazima uangalie. Mm hakukuwa na maneno mengi na nilikuwa nikipatamani msichana lakini niliona hii mchana ni mzuri mm. twende tukafanye kazi mm. wakati tulianza kufanya kazi niliona ni kwa na nguvu mm. alikuwa na va, na ofalo dukanda tunafanya kazi naye nikapenda sana mm. e, ni... ukaona bidii Eh. Eh. <laughs> Tuingilie kidogo mm. hii kununulia watoto mashamba. Mm-hmm. Ulisema mimi watoto wangu lazima wakuwe na shamba. Mm. Umuhimu wa shamba mm. kutoka kwa mzazi kwa mtoto mm. ni nini? Umuhimu wa shamba kutoka kwa mzazi mm. kwa watoto ni sasa kama kama saa hii tulinunua mashamba tukawapea Unaona kama hatugenunua mashamba wangekuwa wanasubuka tu huko Nairobi wapi ati ni kasi wanatafu lakini umuhimu ni vizuri juu sisi tumetoka tu kwa chaba kasi yetu maisha yetu ile tume 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 tumekaa chaba ndio number one. kwa hivyo tu, tulitamani mm. kutoka hapo hiyo ya inherit ya wazazi naye na sisi tu, tu, Mungu akatusaidia mm. tukatoa sasa sisi wasasi na sisi tupepea wa toto wetu sasa na hao watajikakamua wanunulie wao mm. eh wapambane eh, eh dad <laughs> ukiangalia msichana <laughs> wako hapa mwenye <laughs> mmeishi miaka mingi <laughs> ukimwangalia ungetaka kumwambia nini kabla niambie kita kuje ungetaka kuambia nini sweeti wako unamuitanda sweeti <laughs> eh, my sweet <laughs> Sipadagi wanawake wengine nini? Ni huyu tu. Ni huyu. Afu ungetaka kuambia you are sweet ungetaka kumwambia nini? Ndio huyu. Muangalie ndio huyu. Namwambia tukaa tuombe tukikaa tunaomba Mungu tuendelee na maisha hiyo na tuondolewa ni Mungu. Eh maneno baya ya ya magojwa tukae kile tunapata tunakula tukiwa naye mm. hatupedagi maneno mbaya mengi kwa dunia mm. sasa nampenda mm. kwa ajili hata ye anakaa kama mimi mm. ile roho yangu inapenda naona ni vivi eh. ni hivi mam ungependa mm. kuambia sweeti wako ni huyu eh huyu eh miki ni mimi ningependa kumwambia nampenda sana mm. tag tuone nimeona bwana mzuri jua kuna hata msiku hata moja tuchaachana tukikosana kidogo saa hiyo zingine dakika hiyo ingine tunaogea vizuri hakuna ati tuna tuna tunakosana tunamaliza wiki moja si hapana masaa mawili mm. eh tunaanza kuulizana maswali mzuri eh, eh. <laughs> eh. okay ndio tumefika hapo mm. eh kwa hivyo lazima watu wajuane eh lazima watu wajuane mm. na wasemeheanage juu sasa mkikaa sasa umebeba ma 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 ma, ma, ma vitu vingi ma eh umekasirika unakaa hivi sasa hakuna kujenga ni kubomoa tu. Mm. Eh. Unajua kuna venye wanasemanga tajiri wanafaa kukaa. Mm. Unajua eh. wanafaa waishi hivi, wakae hivi, eh. wavae hivi. Eh. Nyinyi nini imewatuma mkae venye mko? Yaani ni nyinyi hamjabadilika. Mm. Ni nini imetuma mkae kama nyinyi bila kubadilika? Eh. Unajua maneno ya Mungu eh. lazima ituogoze. Kitabu ya Mungu inasema ukikaa ukiwa mupole una <coughs> unaambia ni Mungu utagawa ya Mungu uko binguni ugae hapa mm. na ugae bikuni mm. tunaona Mungu anatubariki kugawa maneno ya Mungu mm. ni une, ni tuone tunakaa pamoja yes na watondo tunakaa pamoja mm. na wanaendelea vile tunataka vile tuliwa tuliwanyacha jia wakojiani mm na sasa hata dunia inaogopa ina sisi yes. 
ni nani wanagopo ni, ni dunia Nini. kwa ajili ya maneno ya kukaa na, na, na maneno ya Mungu eh. ma, maitha ya Mungu vile tunakaa tunaona masao mm-hmm. eh masao bedana yes sasa tunaendelea tunaonyesha wengine mm. sasa tunaomba serikali eh ipanue hii machaba wale wachukue hii kazi tusaidiane hii watoto wanakuwa wanakunywa bagi wanakunywa pombe mm. wanaharibika mm. tutakuwa na, na dunia gani ama nchi yetu na mnadhani watoto wanaharibika mm. kwa ajili serikali eh anajifaidi ba sisi si mimi nilikata mm. ningekuchukua hiyo pesa mm. milioni 30 si tukemalisikia hapo matunda haya hangeonekana Kenya hangeonekana dunia La, lakini tunakaa tunapata na na huyu mm. na watoto mm. tukaonyechana picha mzuri ati pesa inatoka mahali huko sasa tunasaidia watoto wetu tuonyeshe wazazi wengine wasaidie watoto wao kwa ajili watu watu wako na machaba kubwa na maana mapeni mm. wanaweka kwa banki mm. badala kugawia mtoto wa, ya mtu na ni uliomba mtoto kwa Mungu kwani unaficha pesa na unaficha machaba italimu hiyo ni nani mm. yeah. okay. tuondokeo ni ujiga mm. tupeo nguvu ni Mungu mm. tuangalie watoto wangu wetu ni kama zaabu wase wanataabika hawa wakiseeka kwa ajili wali, walikosea watoto na wa, watoto wana wanavinya wakiwa wase e. lakini vijana wetu wanakula pombe hakuna kazi wanachukua ngate wako na degree hata mimi nilisomesha moi university mpaka nika, nika, nika tetemeka. nikijua ate nilitiwa watu watu 30 nilitiwa mia, watu mia, mia kadhaa nikiwafundisha wako na na, na degree tano nikajiriguliza hata abogo akahana nusu hata kuota na nasomesha watu wako na madigiri mm. namna gani na, na kazi iko sasa tuki tukiagana na mo university sasa wanauza matunda university hii gine inalala kwa nini mm. e, tuko na wivu watu wa Kenya wako na wivu kwa ajili wanaficha kile wiki on, kuna mtu ataenda mbele ya, ya, ya Mungu anyamase atakuwa akiulizwa manana mm. ndio itawekelea kwa moto au wengine waende kwa moyo kwa ajili watu wanaweka kwa na machaba watu wanathabika wengine si sasa wale wako wa, tunawachagua mwagafa na iko wangechukua hii, ma, hii maneno wasaidia wana, kila kaunti yao ningekuwa tunaaga ile na, na bibi yangu dunia ndio kuli kuli zimekana wapo walikuwa hiyo ni ujinga timba wapo walikuwa alikuwa alikuwa nini kuje watu wakuje kama tuko na watoto tuko wa uhai tuonyechane jia tufile tutasaidiana mm. wale watoto wazazi wasikizani na watoto mm. ama watoto wasikizani na wazazi ungetaka kuwashauri nini kama mzazi mm, mimi ningetaka kumbekeine ningependa kuwaambia mm. ni vizuri kugaia mtoto akiwa akiwa mtoto mchanga ni saa hiyo ako na energy mm. badala ya kuati watoto watakuwa wakigawana saa ile wasasi wame wamekufa wameaga saa hiyo hata kunanga na jia kuna kuaga tu ni kama vita na mauchungu mingi eh hiyo maushungu maushungu mm. lakini ukiwaga hiyo saa ile wako na energy watajika kamoa hata hata sisi hao waligaiwa saa ile walikuwa na na ngufu ndio mtu akabadilisha akabadilisha mpaka akapata jia yake ya ku mm. ya kujitegemea, kujitegemea. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri wasasi waache kusema ati hata ukiandika will hiyo haina maana sana andika will yako na vitendo raia watoto si ati ukigawa unakufa hata sisi kama kugawa ingefanya waku, wa watu wakufe tu si tungekufa kitabo mm, mm. lakini watoto wetu sasa wanaendelea saa hii hata sisi tuko na na gufu na mnawaona wakiendelea na, tunaona wakiendelea na mnawashauri hata hatu wategemei jua tu sisi bado tuko mm-hmm. na nguvu si ndio kwa hivyo ni vizuri wasasi wagaie watoto wakiwa wachanga juu mm-hmm. sana tunafikiria tu ati nimemsomesha au aende kasi sijui wapi na kasi hakuna ni usome 
ujue kuingiliana na watu mm. si ati usome mpaka kasi kasi ya serikali ati huko maofisi ili isha iko lakini si sio sana mm. ni usome ujue yes. kuingia kama sasa saa hii gate mm. si anaingia hata manchi ma, ma zingine mm. juu meso anaelewana na watu akienda mm. huko kama nyinyi mkikuja naongea Kiswahili mzuri Kisungu mzuri hiyo ndio masomo si ati lazima mtoto asome aende na aende kazi kwa ofisi eh hata saa zingine tunaona ofisi unajua ofisi umepimwa hivi hivi lakini usaida uko kwa chamba haununui boga unapanda mahindi mm. unanunua tu kitu ile hauna kama sukari hivi mafuta mm. kitu ile wewe usijitegenezea mm. kwa hivyo ni vizuri na watoto wakigawiwa wawashe kuuza machaba tumieni vizuri watumie vizuri juu wakigawia saa zingine wanaona inatoka pesa mingi anaona anaesaenda azigine auze anunue ngari anunue aweke biashara hiyo si answer Asa ni ukipewa hiyo shamba fikiria vizuri vile utaitumia mm. na utumie vizuri mm. kitumia vizuri utapata shamba ingine utatoa gari huko kila kitu unapenda kila kitu unata. E, na yes. shamba ulipa shamba ukulima ulipa pia e, ukulima unaripa juu kijipanga vizuri unajua shamba tu ni maji na borea hakuna kitu ingine siri ni hiyo tu We, ukichimbua shamba hivi umwage borea upate maji wewe umekuwa tajiri. Hivyo hivyo. Eh hivyo hivyo tu. Asante e, sana. E. Tumefurahi. Mm. Na mimi wacha niseme hata kabla niite Kate nimefurahi sana. E. Umetutengenezea huu wakati mm. kuongea na sisi. Hadithi yako na mam watu wengi wametaka sana kusikia. Na mimi hata sijatoka sija hapa tu na biashara kwa akili. Mm. Nimetoka hapa kuona watu wawili pia wanaweza pendana, mm. washike kitu moja, waifanye na bidi wasaidie watoto wao na waone matunda ya watoto wa. wow. wao. Mm. Nimeona ulimaliza shule class 7. Mm. Nimeona saa ingine ile kidogo umepewa fanyisha ka? kazi. Fanyisha kazi. Mm. Nimesoma hivyo. Mm. Nimesoma pia pesa hata ikiwa mingi aje saa ingine sema hapa mm. hapana. Angalia mbe. mm. angalia mbele. Mm. Na tumefurahi na mm. tuna hope watu pia watafurahi na wafuate hii hadithi na tutaona wambogo apples mm. kwa dunia mzima mm. na pia serikali itashika hii watoto wetu mkono na wazazi tuweze kufunguliwa nini njia mm. mm. ile tunaweza fanya biasha biashara hey. sawa sawa mm-hmm. shukran hata hey. kwa kutukaribisha nyumbani kwenu hey. nimefurahi sana hey. okay. now i call their daughter kate mm-hmm. i want us to be able to get the business perspective of this and also how are we able to protect our legacy as children when we inherit the business uh, from our parents uh, please don't go anywhere this episode is courtesy of my daddy motors santeni sana hi how are you I'm good. The famous famous no I won't I won't do the injustice of introducing <laughs> yes, you. Yes. I would want the introduction to come from you right. because your name mm-hmm. and Wambogo farm yes. Wambogo apple ni yes. sino kabisa mm-hmm. people wouldn't talk about Wambogo apple yes. without talking about you. Wow. So who are you? Wow. Me I'm um, Kate Wambogo. Yeah. Uh Wambogo is my father. I have my husband but I I chose to even he my husband to use Wambogo because I'm the blood ambassador of Wambogo apples and um I'm, I'm, I chose to run with my father so I'm just her daughter I'm the first born I'm proudly the first born yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm married uh, my husband is called Matthew Jenga yes. who happens to be Kagea chairman yeah. is also aligned with Wambogo apples mm-hmm. and I have four kids Three girls and one boy. The boys by default. Yeah. And I thank God. The boys by yes. default. By default. <laughs> so we funga chapter. We funga. Kabisa tulime sasa. Tulime hadi siku za. Hizi siku za. Kazi ni kuzaho. Acha tumemaliza. Unajua ukimaliza unaenda shughuli nyingine. Unaenda. Sasa mimi ni kwa serious business now. On to the next yes. one. And oh. converting the, the babies into this now. Yes. yes. I was telling you earlier yes. you get your jeans from yes, your from mom. Yes, my mom. <laughs> hey, 
And you know, yes. also the most surprising thing, mm -hmm. they've been married for 45 years. Imagine. Dear Lord. Imagine. What do you admire most about One, them? One, I admire how they live. They don't fight. If there's uh, something they want to, they discuss. I've seen this since I was born. So it's not something that I'm realizing right now. And I've learned a lot with them. So hardworking. I wish my father can tell you. He hates people who are, what lazy. do you call it, lazy. He will not, you will not, car, will not car with him. He will tell you, no, you can't be here. So I've learned a lot with them, even on their the social life. Mm. And uh, they trained me, even me leading from them. And this is what I'm using even my family. My husband, if there's an issue, we sit down and sort it out. Because if you're going to call and taking the bags and going, who is going to do the farming? And we have a very big vision, not only for Kenya, for Africa and the yes. whole world. Yeah. So we sit down and talk, mm. as I have seen my dad and my mom do. Okay. Yes. Let me ask you so that we understand the mm -hmm. picture of your parents. Yes. At what point did you come into your parents' lives? Mm -hmm. Because right now, yes, we were talking uh, with dad and mm -hmm. I will let you talk about it. Yes. Of how he attempted, someone wanted him to sell mm -hmm. the business yes. for 30 million yes. and he refused. <laughs> yes. And I know now Ambogo Apples, the projections, it's mm -hmm. in billions, not, yes, even, not millions. even millions. It's in billions. Mm -hmm. But you as Kate, their child, mm -hmm. at what point did you get into their life? Ulingia senye kuna pesa. Mm -hmm. Amulingia saying they were struggling. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me start with this saying this lean. Eh? Mm -hmm. When uh, we were young, light from the when I knew myself around uh, when I was in class five or six, that is when my dad was so busy when he started uh, propagating mm -hmm. and we could see him harvest the fruits. And we and all our children, we are four of us, yes. we were the people harvesting. We were the people doing the cultivation and adding of manure at class seven. How, I don't know how many years mm. I was, class seven. So we saw money. We saw my dad making money and my mom. Before then, my mom used to sell some spinach, some uh, skuma week in the, the market. Mm. And all of us, lean, we were involved on that. So when my father now started with the Wambugo apples, so now we started now following the Wambugo apples. Mm. And by then it had no name. Later on the Kali named it Wambugo apples. Mm. So he would, we would come out from the school, come home, ha him harvest, because the trees were very tall. So he would go up there with my brother, they take the fruit and bring down. So our work was to wipe the fruits. And my father is, is a smart person. You don't do things just like that. You do the two apples, two, two, those are four, and then one. You see that capepa of scurry? Yes. The sugar cut, cut yes. You do two, two, and one. And they were shining. You see that um, red wine color? It would attract you from far. So we would pack that one. You would use to sell, I think, mm. uh, 200 kenja shilling by then. Mm. And you'd go and hawk them in the in the sea, in the towns. Mm. Nyeri, Nanyuki. Then he started going to Nairobi. And we would see money. And the beautiful thing is that it was not labor intensive like coffee. I'm not saying that coffee was bad. But mm. of course, we would wake up and tea. Whether it's raining. Whether it's not, you have to pick it. But for apples, you would say, let's wait, it's raining. You do it tomorrow. Yes. And still, it's still okay. And you would take them to town and bring money. Mm. So we saw a very nice life. And because we are used to do the other farming, we saw this one, is, it was nothing. Yes. Just to cultivate, add manure and do the harvesting, wiping and him going to, mm. to the market. So mm. we saw a very nice uh, as a set of uh, uh, mini, a business mm. and uh, we chose to. So it's not just now. It's something that we, when we realized ourselves, we saw it and we, me for me, I, I was in love with it. And now it's what it's, I'm doing with it. With all my life, with, with all, all my life, life huh? and all my kids yes. coming into it. Mm. So it's something that we learn from the end. It's a passion. Mm. Actually, personally, is passion. Yeah. Let's talk about education. Mm -hmm. Dad mentioned to us in the story yes, he yes. dropped out at class seven. Yes. But he also said he has given all of you an education. Yes, yes. How was that like and why was it important for him to yes. do that? And what type of education did you guys receive? Uh, we did the, the whole primary school. Yes. Uh, at least we finished class eight. Hey. 
uh-huh. we had to go higher mm. so we went through uh, we all of us went to class 8 yes. and top of that we all went to High secondary school, school. Mm. and uh, luckily enough because my mom was so hard working doing the chaos and my dad was the one making sure that the the spinaches are there for her mm. for her to take them to the mm. market so out from the primary school we were going the school fees was out of the we we'll call them uh, vegetables or mm. yeah those the hot catchers and the tomatoes mm-hmm. and all that so on the high school that is where now it picked well remember after now when i was in around class 7 the apples were not much so you do sell and still they were not uh, able to support the the high because mm-hmm. we are four of us mm-hmm. but the high school now the, my dad started expanding the farm so he could be able to take much more fruit to the market and for high school let me say it was one bogo up us yes and we are able to, all of us to go through well and no one was sent home because of lack fees. of money mm-hmm. of money of the fees mm-hmm. and in holiday all of us me I was in boarding school in high school and my brothers and all of them so after the closing of the school all of us joined together with my mother and my father and would do a brilliant work and by the time we opened the school we knew you are taking your fees i'm taking my fees whoever is taking the fees and the life was good mm. it was so good so it was that easy now after the wambugu apples yes. and for me i admired that you are you're not just doing the hard work you are doing that but and you're getting money so um, for me now i call it don't do it hard way if we went hard way so now join us on the smart way mm. yes go the go the smart yes way. yes because it's easy yes wambogo apples yes. that has tried to explain to us yes. uh, the special features mm-hmm. of wambogo apples yes uh, these are for yeah for the propagated four of them yes four types eh. for it to, for him to come up with this yeah you may wonder why is that shape eh. one we are doing purely organic because for nutrition value eh. and uh, we are not adding it uh, any chemical or anything for hormone to give it that's that uh, we are doing it just mm. organic and that's why it's very unique and let me tell you in the demand with wambogo apples it's crazy It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Talk about demand. Mimi, mm-hmm. I came here yes. to do your story. Yes. But I'm about to get in a story <laughs> yeah. with a Nigerian who resides in Canada. Yes. Yes, He's yes. here right Imagine. now doing a crash course yes. on Apple. Yeah. Outside there mm. are so many flags. Kwanza what are the flags? <laughs> Those are the uh, I told you I'm the blood of us yes. and that one I baptized myself. Yeah. <laughs> Abbas and Akhet. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> But that one I uh, baptized myself yeah. just to 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 promote my dad uh-huh. or to carry a long or higher flag yes. for my father. Mm. So those countries you're seeing let me tell you Lynn, I'm what is on my shoulders right like now. I thought it's just farming. But what is on my shoulders I'm working with now over that 37 countries the farthest is grenada jamaica uh, trinidad and tobago and also yeah there's another country on the caribbean yeah. so those are the farthest we yeah, have the africa is mm. is much and i'm working with them and i've been guiding i have been working with them not just through call going to their farm that's the other day i was in zambia yeah. and i was in i was in sosaka and then the copper belt and the beautiful thing is that this apple is doing well in any climate in as well yes. so i decided remember Aline, as long as we are living we need to leave an impact and most of the african the all import they don't have apples on their farm so you find that an ap- uh, apple is needed so much in our body because whoever said an apple they keeps doctor away is true it has a lot of uh, medicinal value and when i realized that i said then we need to, to i need to impact some of these countries that they don't know about it kenya is doing very well but we also need to uh, to to impact other countries wh- where they need this fruit mm. because if a kid in the very rural area 
would take a nap and then protect that kid being sick or some cancers and all that. Weird diseases. Then, mm. This is a blessing. It's like giving Jesus for free. Mm. <laughs> yes. So yes, I, yes. I decided, let me walk with them. Mm. So I've been working with them because the demand is so high. And since most of the part of our, our African countries are doing well, then I thought we can join together and also bless our people in the UK, in the US, or whichever country that maybe have some legular uh, fruiting of apples, whatever they are. Mm. So they can also be blessing us with uh, buying our apples and also us getting money and also helping because this world is not about the money you're making. It's also helping each other. But we also get some revenue. So the market for this is so huge. We sent uh, some samples in some few countries and they, we got the market. We're supposed yeah. to export a, a container of 40 feet every week for three countries. So you can imagine the three. The three. That is the demand that we have right now. And I know they will be watching your video. Every repeat again? Yes. You are supposed to export? A, a container of 40 feet. Every three weeks? Every, to three countries? To three countries. Every week. Every week. And that is, I don't know what to say. Munato, munafa muapi. Sasa ninyinyi tu? No, we have as, eh? Mm. Remember? We are doing it as a now Africa because it's doing well. Yes. So we have Kenya, we have Uganda, we have Tanzania, we have Malawi, we have Botswana, Namibia, call them Na Zambia, yeah. Zimbabwe. Well, all these are, is in yes. Zimbabwe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. Zimbabwe is Harare, hey. um, Chegutu, Norton, uh, Gwe, Kwe Kwe. It's, it's there. Mm. Uh, also in uh, in um, in Harare. Yes. They are do I, I'm working with them and they are doing well. Yeah. And uh, since the most part of Zimbabwe and Zambia, they have big land, indoor land. So that's how I became uh, passionate to work with them because some of them, they didn't even know. They have never seen an apple plant. Mm. Like in Botswana. Uh -huh. I've never seen an apple <laughs> plant. See. I'm going to see one today. You see? I have never. Yeah. You see the way, it, even you, Muga, there you go. Ata wana watch. Yes. Pia wenye wana watch. Yes. Tuko wengi kwa comment section. Wow, I know. wow. Wenye wow. tujai ona an yes. apple tree. Yes. But, mm -hmm. I'm sensing something very different with uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when people know they have a product, uh -huh. you get keep. Yeah. Kuambia Una jificha. Ume jificha. But wolo. Lynn, tu mesoma na dad. Ime kuambia tunafuata the, my dad's His legacy. Test. My dad, let me tell you. Do you know he can own you and you are not ours? Don't know whether that <laughs> is the name to you. <laughs> We're not even related. Hey. By that, my dad who adopt you and live well. And you'll be so good to him and you'll be so proud of you. As in, you become like he's one, you are one of his yes. kids. That is my father. He doesn't hide anything. Even knowledge. Even those years, people would come, would visit our farm. And not to just visit. My mother would be there cooking tea for them. And we would see life like, ah, so we, we grew up to mm. Kijua. You need to have a big, you to open a heart. And that is how we are. So we cannot now close gates and say, this is our product. Because let me tell you, giving a fruit like this can help someone to live long. It's like giving life. It's like now I come, I struggle you not to breathe. Mm. You die. Mm. So it's it's just something nature that we don't have to hide. If I'm importing shoes, nice shoes from whichever country, that one I can hide because it's my business. Mm. Shoe is not a must you live with that. A wearing shoe. a shoe but for food oh my goodness this is life so we would see my our father opening gates for people do you know people <laughs> i saw some other people in my facebook they came and said oh kate let me remind you i used to come and steal your fruits and your dad is so amazing <laughs> he would catch us instead of beating us he would give us each a fruit and tell please never come and steal here i was laughing that is my father wow that is, and now this is why now I went to another level. Now, those years, those who have visited our farm in Nyeri would see my dad. My dad would give my mom would give you just a cup of tea and a, some aka bread. So now, because we are now touching nations, yes. we had to do these cottages you are seeing. Yes. So whichever country or whichever county in Kenya you are coming, and you find that your time is so much gone, you just have to relax. Just somewhere we sleep. We give you dinner, we give you lunch, we give you breakfast, even without charging you a coin. We don't charge you. What we only charge you is the trees that you're going to plant. Yes. Other things we don't charge you. We make your life comfortable yeah. as you usher you in. 
to this business. I, so that at least you feel like oh, I'm oh, welcome. I'll get to the cottages because yes. this is an idea <laughs> I'm going to borrow. And this is, we borrowed this from our father ah, and my mama. Really? They love people. So or even us, we found ourselves loving everyone. Yes. And that's why we are doing this. Okay. Yes. Let's go to the practicability mm -hmm. of things. Huh? Yes. Apple. The way I've said, even yes. me, I don't know. I've never seen an apple tree. Mm -hmm. For me to be able to grow yes. this, yes. Our, our mbogo apple, yes. what do I need? And what are the durations for me to see the product? Mm -hmm. And what is the market like out, out there? Can I tell you say something yes. amazing about our mbogo apples? Yes. Because it's organic, it will not oxidize. That's why it's so uh, people are looking for it. Because even if you eat it like this, mm. it will remain white. Even if you eat, you go around with this in the farm. Even in the evening, it will be white. Hai, black, akuna ata brown. It will be white. It will not oxidize. Because it's purely pure organic. I'll talk of market. Let mm. me start saying that. Why wambugu apples? One, it accommodates all climates. Any kind, whether, I don't know, cold or whatever. Any soil. I've done it in Botswana. I'm telling you, Lynn, is sandy soil. As you know, even a magika uku ile yakujenga. And it is doing marvelous there. Namibia, well, Zambia also, they have part of it. And Zimbabwe have some uh, sandy soil. Nigeria, Ghana, go to Sierra Leone. All these countries, they accommodate any kind of climate and any kind of soil. The only main thing is you do manure and watering. Those are the two factors mm. that you need to figure out before you start Wambugo apples. The other thing is fencing. Because people, mm, <laughs> when they see them shining, mm. they want to come mm. for it. So you need to fence your farm very well or make us uh, get uh, enough security mm. or someone in the farm to ensure that whatever you're planting is secured. Mm. So those are the main factors to, to, to check on. Is a disease resistance. So Hainati Magojwa? No, we is a disease na, na wadudu? Let me tell you. I haina wadudu. Wadudu wa kul the only thing to that affect or can affect apples yeah. is the birds. You are the mother of the birds. Yes. So they may not eat all fruit, eh? but also you feel ca that capain when yeah. you find your fruit eaten. Just, eh? Yes. But I will give you amazing things about that. So ha it's like I've solved all the problem. Hey. So that we should not worry. Yes. <laughs> that one, the one that eaten by the birds eh. or the one that have fallen down, I have a market for you for that. Anyway, so the market is there. So the only things to consider is a disease resistance. Yes. So you don't have, you don't have to spray much. So the only need uh, needed is like foria. And we, we can use rabbit urine. It's very powerful mm. as a rabbit urine and also as pesticide. Maybe you have intercropped, intercropped other things with wambogo apples. So you just you'd use, um, instead of spraying, if you're spraying spinach or or ho -ho, whatever, the pepper, and has been affected by other insects. You see that whatever you're spraying might go up to the yes. apples. So that's why we are saying use rabbit urine. Mm. It is a very good pesticide and also as foria. But there are some ratios for the pesticide use, one is to one. Mm. But for as a foria, use two is to one. Two is water, the other one is uh, the, the urine. Uh -huh. So it's, it's so easy, but yeah. it's something that I'll be able to work with people and also gui do yes. the guidance. Mm. So the Wambogo apples is as easy as that. Higher duration. T at, for me to get this product, <laughs> fruit. how long should I wait? And mm. averagely, how many apples will one tree give uh, me? One, if you plant wambuku apples today, we have grafted them or propagated them. So we sell a grafted, uh, already a tree is a mm. tree. So once I give you, don't worry how many months I've been with that tree. Once I give you like this, you buy and put it on the ground, you count nine months. It may fruit earlier than that. People have seen that. Yes. But I tell you, let's go up to nine months. This one will help build the branches. Yes. And the more the branches, yeah. the more the fruits. Yeah. And you see that the fruits are not big. Uh, you pluck some of the flowers because at nine months, it can give you up to 40 fruits. But the 40, you may allow 20 so that the fruit can be quality yes. and also be able to be mm. very healthy. Mm. Because it can even give you a hundred. But imagine that tree is still like, it's, it's, a, it's like an early pregnancy. Mm. 
a, 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 a little girl back yeah. so it's the same with the tree mm. so allow few fruits because this tree has a lifespan of over 100 years so don't be in a hurry don't to get the 40 so nine yeah. months you get your first harvest yes how long do i have to wait for my second harvest now it's amazing mm. because as you harvest this one because the flowers will be there at nine months so they'll take three months for you to hold the fruit so at the end of that month year there are other flowers already ready so as soon as you finish harvesting this there are other waiting for you yes. small sizes <laughs> like that <laughs> so at the second year yeah. you're supposed to allow it's you remember you're supposed to control sometimes yes. depending on the feeding because sometimes you may not have enough manure at this certain time yeah. so if you have to know that because three always they communicate mm. they have that communication to just look at the three and say i didn't put enough manure or the, the water was not yes. enough or the rains were very mm. not sufficient. Mm. So let me remove some of the flowers or some of the small fruits to allow this satin off. Yes. Remember the kg will be very much. I love that. So the second year should be around 200. Yes. And then the full maturity is around five years. That one will be 300 to 500 fruits in a tree. Amazing is that. One tree giving you 500. Let's even go for 300. And maybe you have 100 trees. The 300 you multiply the 300 100. pieces multiply by 100 30000 so 30000 those are pieces yes one piece for a wholesale we do it at 30 bob <laughs> now can you do your math because not whatever you're holding this uh, size is so it's bigger this size or that one okay let me just make yes. sure i'm holding uh -huh. the right size muga could you zoom uh, edgar can you zoom on this yes. let me make sure this I'm holding size. the right size. Yes. So, this size mm -hmm. in the market, yes. you sell it at 30 how bob. much? Moja. One. And now I have like 30,000. Yes. <laughs> ah, the Kiku in me is about to get <laughs> The Kiku in me eh. is, is raising up. In eh. <laughs> yes. 900. 900 what? K. Almost yes. a million. And that is once. Wambu apples will give you fruits. Two or three times in a year. So multiply that by two. To see the mingi, to see kama Almost two million. Multiply by, yes. So you can imagine that if you decide to expand, the more you expand, do your mathematics. Yes. But I tell people, P, this one needs a lot of determination, a lot of love, a lot of dedication. Because one, it's not labor intensive. Mm. It only needs you to lead the, the tree how do what you need right yes Akimiko you always mama. communicate <laughs> <laughs> no it's good uh -huh. yeah and yes. amazing is so crunchy yeah like you know i can't so do <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. now let me come to market yes we have market for the whole fruit just last week we imported a machine from israel worthy 500,000 million US dollar. Wait. That is around uh, 65 million Kenya shillings. You imported a machine what? 500,000 500, USD. USD. As Wambogo apple. And purely to do Wambogo apples. That's why I'm telling you when I talked about the birds and Izo Zimianguka chi. Yes. Now we'll be packing with that machine this grade one. We grade them. To kieka kwa katonia, if you grade like uh, say like five grams, so that machine is able to to separate and put them in one carton, wash them, grade them, and pack them. Then from there, number one and number two, grade one and two. So for number three and those dogo dogo and those ones that you feel like they are eaten by birds mm. or they are rotten. Let me tell you, amazing lean. The more this apple rots the more expensive becomes or the more precious they become now i've finished about the grade yes. one and grade yeah. two those ones are going to the market you find them in the supermarket yes. in the in here in local in international because we'll be exporting <coughs> also mm -hmm. uk and i don't know uk and i think dubai 
So those ones you find them in the sh in the shelves mm. Mm. and even in Kenya mm. because we cannot be able to export then Kenya is importing. Yes. It doesn't add up. Yes. So we first of all be able to to, to handle mm. them the local market then we we'll now do the international. Mm. Now I'm finished with that. Yes. Let me go to now the what we call rejects in Kenya. So we will be able to solve the, what we call post harvest. That is one because the machine will be there 24 hours. And as long as you have the harvest, we'll take them. Yeah. Now the rejects and also the one that have fallen down, have rotten, and you feel like, ah, this one, I'll, I can I can throw them away. And the one eaten by birds, you all harvest them and bring them to the pack house. We'll be doing what what is called concentrates and we'll be making the apple cider. The one is one which is called with mother. I know you have gone to supermarket, yes. but right now even there is some shortage for that. It's very expensive. In Kenya, they sell, I think, 2,000 or 1,500. Uh, I think Havarita or yes. Udita, whichever. Mm. And imagine that concert is made by, by three pieces of this. So, three pieces. Unona hii? Hii hata ijafichika is around, not even up to kilo. Three pieces of this. Yeah, making, nini, na you buy at around 2,000 Kenya shilling. It's not me even up to kilo. Si avadari hata hile gire. Eri ni kuze hapo ni hache zikuwe rote ni. Ni si emi na enda different direction. For the birds. Usijari. What are the birds eat? Whatever they are eating. Because they can't finish. When it's rotten it doesn't have germs. Let me tell you. Not not germs at all. Unajua. They become germs because ime rot. Ime oza. But for the concept. Iyo unaonanga inaito apple cider. It's a rotten apple. To make you. I mean, yes, it's rotten. So the more it's become rotten, the more it becomes the value. value goes up. So it's one day yeah. rotten. <laughs> In fact, to for, me, rotten for me, instead of eh. selling a whole fruit, eh. yes. because you can imagine, higher. these are, let's say, these like, are five. they are five. Yes, like here. They make, uh, because they are three pieces. Yes. Three, piece, three pieces makes uh, one liter uh, apple cider. So, so if, they add water. Sorry? They add water. No, it, of course, it's for it to be, yes, there's yes. that water. Mm. So you can imagine one, those three make one liter. So then I should go for that. Really? On the other hand, we also, we will have different um, uh, products. Yes. We'll be doing uh, apple cider, not apple cider, sorry, apple crisps. So we'll be sizing the apples. We call, we do what is called freeze drying. Mm. We only remove the water from the apple. And we leave it like that. So you can have it in the shelf maybe a whole year. Yeah. So that one also prolongs the life shelves of mm. this. And Wambugu apples can stay even a week without putting it in the in a refrigerator. Mm. So with 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 the freeze drying, you just leave, we are just going to make it freeze and then we pack it in the papers. That one we have already market in Dubai. We were there and we are given market for that. Wow, so you can imagine. Hey. And we are not doing it for as Wambogo family. Are you hiring? <laughs> <laughs> for everyone doing Wambogo apples. Yes. Whenever, where are you, whether you're in Kenya or you're outside, we're only going to do that and make it happen. Mm. So we are combining together and we formed an association called Kenya Apple Growers and Exporters Association. It's called Kagea. Mm. That's where my husband is a, yes. is a chairman. So we are coming up with all members who have been planting. The biggest we have planted is Moy University. They did 100 acres. Those are 60,000 trees. So them, they will be one of our biggest supplier in the, in the, and the, mark, the, the price is, is, is it's premium. Good. It's good. It's good. Kay. So you can imagine that is the, <laughs> There is gold on the soil. I want to be a farmer. Yes, I want to be a farmer. That's beautiful. Yes. Let's talk about <laughs> oh, let's talk about the family yes. legacy. Yes. How, how what was your reaction uh -huh. when your dad told you guys he has bought each and every one of you mm -hmm. a piece of land? By the to party kila mtu, we were given a piece. When we were nyeri, yes. the farm was very small. Mm. So what dad did? Uh, once, see, I told you we were selling the fruits. Yes. That's why I'm telling you I'm passionate about this. It shows, it shows. Because after selling those fruits, after the education, we would be so busy and so tired after doing that, wiping, preparing and all that, and we would see we are not chasing away to get the school fees. 
And after that, after we went, now me, I went and did uh, sales and marketing. Yes. Uh, but I didn't do as in uh, a degree yeah. or something. Mm. Because the farming in me was demanding me to the farm. <laughs> so I had to leave that. And why I did that? Because mm. my dad now, all of us, he said, what you are going to do now? We're going to buy a big farms. So he came here. That's how he came in like Kipia. Because the land here, by yes. then, let me amaze you, yes. he was buying one acre. <laughs> the first, first one he bought 15,000 Kenya shilling. And he bought, I think, uh, eight acres somewhere where you found, we found him. The, yes. So 15,000? 15, 15,000. 15K for e, an 15. acre. Sai, <laughs> 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 1 million. Oh, okay. my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Apple. That now is one, one, one mil. Hey, Dada. it's one mil. One point, I think one point two. I say my dad and his you adapt. I need to I think you adapt. Yes. What? Fifteen k. So I can only work. I endure. He start. He continued buying. I can only work. Kapatia, my 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 brother, my my father. I was the first one to be yes. given the uh, the farm. So uh then my brother and my brother Ivo Ivo. So all of us now came here. Na kakwekia maji, na nakupea ngobe moja from nyeri. Yani, I am telling you, is a good life. And I would want to advise the parents the, from the whole world. Because your videos are watched by yes. the... So you had that guy from Canada. <laughs> yes. So I would wish that all parents can do this to their children. Let's support our kid. Like now, I support my daddy. I, he doesn't support me anymore. Yes. He supported us and us, we took it. And now we are flying with it. So if we were not given that boost, whether in education, see Lazima Upewe Shamba, not only we will be given a farm, but where if it is possible, be given. But if it is education, give to your kids and give it with the whole heart. And don't expect any returns. Because my father never expected that would one day boost him or hold his hands. But right now, whatever he started in us, see what has happened right now. Let me tell you, Lynn, he supported us even as we were trying to build ourselves. Even when I was uh, married, he supported us with my husband. And you know, some of the, the people say, um, how is your husband going to be supported in your... But let me tell you, my husband is so hardworking. And my father said, this man, we need to, we need to hold up. You, let me tell you, you would think my husband is the son. Is the son. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but then when I come, I can't just tell him because he also yoy. I was like, <laughs> that is it. But my father, as I started telling yes. him, he loves people who are hardworking. He not even like my husband. He can adopt you even from another country or from another uh, another tribe mm. or county. Mm. As long as you're hardworking, he hold you like this. So I would say that we need that big, uh, mm. small support. Then from here, then kids, we must be hardworking, not drinking everywhere or doing other things. You need to bring all your mind there. Don't waste your time. The waste you waste time. You are wasting those millions that you counted there. Mm. So now we saw daddy and that's how he gave us each farm. And right now and a cow. Are, and a cow. <laughs> <laughs> right now, if each and every one of us have bought more than twenty acres. I, he said Yes. I think we are we are much gone now. Yes. We don't even we only go there. Mm. Do you want to change a car? <laughs> do you want to change the car? <laughs> 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 what do you want? Do you want that is now yeah. we join hands all of us. We want to do this. We want to buy him a nice car because mm. he doesn't not need much right now. You only need to live like where eh. we are. And we just now want to pamper them and make them. Like <laughs> and he's still good. Yes. And we don't have any apology on that because he did it on those years. Mm. It is time now for us to check on him. Good. Yes. When he went for that meeting at Westgate yes. <laughs> and someone wanted to buy yes. his business yes. for that million, mm -hmm. dad says you were upset. Hey, Lynn, how do, remember you were just struggling with selling, hawking, mm. he was hawking, and now someone wants to buy. 30 million were like with my, my brother. Uh, and my dad liked telling that. And I, nowadays <laughs> I feel ashamed. I don't really like those stories. <laughs> Imagine. And he told, hey, you know, 30 million of those years, and we're like, wow, oh, our problem, our problem was solved. But my father said, it's a no. And Kamuri said, ah, 30 million. We have never even seen the 100,000 altogether. And this one, he said, no. That's 2011. 
Yes, imagine. Yes. So he said no, 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 no. And you know, would he would get money and buy. You see, he ha, he bought uh, fifteen thousand. Kwa shamba mo kwa kikamoja. So we own thirty million together. See, life yako image right now. Ata ukipatia thirty million, and mm-hmm. you buy the legacy. Ah, you can't. You can't because. But were it not my dad? to get you that million and that was because Wamboko Apples is patent right now it's uh, he got yes. plant breeders right and right now as where we are waiting it's already gazetted in Kenya gazette so it's a product of Kenya it's and pat- it, thank it you. is pa- patent that's do yeah. you think a lot of farmers yes. went through what your dad was about to go through indirectly mm-hmm. do you think they sold their products without knowing their value yeah they did without knowing mm. because sometimes you don't know mm. and maybe you, you don't have that know-how yes. or you don't know what to do mm. because uh, my 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 husband pushed this went to the cafes and cafes they were so supportive let me t- tell you some of these offices we fear them but let me tell you they are very instrumental and they are very friendly mm. we went to karen that is where head office of cafes is and they were so friendly and they helped us they came to our farm they did every we can export uh, these ombogo apples fruits and and uh, and, the, and the trees we have that we have been given that money we have the certificate and let me tell you were it not that which my dad couldn't do he didn't even think there are some rights that you need he didn't know that you're supposed to to patent but look at because of supporting us right now we are using the small education you can hear my english is very polished the small english he gave us that is what we went there mm-hmm. and we were able to talk to them and now he owns a plant breeders right he has a right you cannot go to and but buy wambugu apples you'll be sued because it's this is product of wambuko yes he has a brand breeders right he has the, the the certificate now and also in the for the for the for the nurseries that he has and now is gazetted in kenya gazette mm. so it's amazing it's amazing wow yes. that seems to me so we were oh, imagine if we could have sold that mm. with 30 30 million so and you see the the lives that we are impacting eh. right now yeah impact let's yeah. go back to moi university yes you've said they've planted wambugo apples in how many acres? acres how did that come about wow it was tough because when we started it was there's a lot of challenges and uh people think they were saying that we planted apples but they came up to be oranges you know this politics mm. now are here with people mm. and let me tell you if you are positive and you f- close your eyes and ears because you've recent people you fail more universe we are almost failing because we would feel so discouraged and let me tell you the the vc professor kosgay and uh there's another it is co chairman mm. of the more university mm. uh humphrey jogona mm. they hold our hand and we said let's close our eyes let's go this is a vision let me tell you we started that two years ago Right they now when you the land yeah no it is there it's for yes. school it's a school project it's a school project mm. so we did it f- had to fought and join hard with the the the, the senate uh, uh, members mm. in the mo university mm. and we said let's do it right now they have 60000 trees lean right now a tree let's say minimum has 20 fruits na tunauza moja kunayo moja iko na mpaka 70 yes and na inaweza kubeba because the project when we started it was 2 years but some of the trees we could yeah. make get to some of them we grafted them on the ground yes. we could see a tree that we grafted 9 months yeah. has 70 fruits so you can imagine 60000 trees you multiply by 20 can i have that calculation let me show you So that is how we, we those are the mathematics K. we want yeah 60000 yeah, you multiply 20. by 20 that yeah. is 1 million 1 actually 1.2 1.2 those are 1. fruits 1.2 fruits those are fruits you sell one at averagely let's to say matter you 30 bob yes. because is the premium price mm. 30 that is 36 million now that is 6 million kenya shilling multiply by 2 72 million kenya shilling that to jaweka rotten to jaweka ya rotten you to make a matunda that is the match and those are what we were doing the vision that we had with the vc and the chairman of moi those are the calculation that we are doing so we uh, we decide let's do it. let's close our eyes whatever is said there close your eyes let's go that is a match they were like now they are fruiting very i did a a, a, a video and uh, people are like this is moi said yes this is moi and they are so proud and i'm so proud of it can i could you talk to i really want to go do that story yes because the wow. reason uh-huh. there is something that is uh-huh. 
I can see this pain in his yes. heart. Uh -huh about why can't we do that in so many yes, counties yes, yes. why can't a county just uh -huh. allocate yes this land that is unused yes. to its people yes. and have us come up with such projects because the profit margin is crazy. You see, well, that is Moy only. Yes. It's not whole of Elder. Yes. It's the main campus yeah. uh, called Kesses. Yeah. That is the match they would make. Do you think that school will be going to, to those offices and say, that is a, a hakietu? Mm -mm. They won't. 70, 72 million. And that is, you know, they will be harvesting over 80 years. So it's not a one thing or two things or one thing thing. Wow. So it's something that you'll be going there in many years. Yes. Imagine the students who are there. They go there to learn about the apples. So there are people there. They'd also do the researches. So it's something that will even change the counties. Mm. But you know, people think what lean. Hey, the 1,000 you are making is too much. But let me tell you, it is to involve a lot of work, a lot of money. You can see the workers that you have here for the purpose of to making that seedling. So don't feel the pain of buying 1,000 Kenya mm. shilling or 10 US dollar per plant. It's because we have worked. But the margin, the whatever you will be making, because the money lean is on the fruits. The money is crazy. That tree, once you plant it, over eight years, you live to your generation. So it will, you leave a mark, you leave a legacy. Mm. Is, even if you are a doctor, I'm not saying that everyone to become a farmer, but it doesn't hurt for you if you have a small farm back in your mother's land. Go and buy her 10, 10 trees. Go and put her 20 trees for her to be enjoying that and also be getting money because we also plan our our retire mm. our retirement mm. so you can plan in that way okay. you can be a doctor mm. you can be an engineer or a pilot but when go christmas is coming imagine when you go back to every christmas and you go back home and you find just empty land mm. it doesn't it add doesn't up. look nice yeah but you see a fruit very and nice. the kids can have and the some. kids will say ah mommy i'm going I to have an, an apple, apple. Ah, you tell, oh you want an apple Go there. Yes. So you can do it. You can do yes. it. Eh? Mm -hmm. I love that. Let's talk about your siblings and yes. the importance of unity. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing I'm learning along the journey yes. as I keep discovering more about Wambogo mm -hmm. Apple mm -hmm. is how you siblings are also yes. united. Yes. You don't find that much in mm -hmm. other families. Yeah. Where and all uh -huh. of you are successful in your own yes. ways. I mean, I did Mama Israel's yes, story, yes, 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 dragon yes, fruit yes, the yes, other yes. time, you know. Mm -hmm. She's uh, your sister in law. Yes. And it's like all of you are thriving in your different yes. areas. Mm. What keeps you guys together? One, one my dad loves unity. Mm. Unity and love. Those are the major. And now hard working. And he has shown that Lynn would wake up one night and go to the farm simply because the moon is out and it is in Amulika Chini. You go and work. Anatuamusha. Sasita usiku. Midnight we go to the farm. Because of that lighting. And we never complained. Because it's something alitulea nayo. Na alitulea. Nwesike tunamusho zizi wote. Uyo ulienda kwa mama Israel. My brother. Uyo alikuwa alikuwa katoto. So we carry him to the farm. So all of us we were shown how to be unity. And then no. You know atuna tamaya pesa. Greedy. Atu, atu kwenyeshwa hiyo. The little you get, the little you get, we bring it together and we do a major mm. thing. Who is also a help us in our own difference. Yes. So my dad alituonyesha kukapa moja, working together, yeah. na ku, yani supporting yes. each other. Tukisikia, na you need this, mm. we come all of us mm. and we support you. Yes. And that is what we have been doing. Kama moja ajaweza, tu, maybe tunajega nyumba, we come and give you loli moja ya mawe, loli moja ya mchanga. And that's how we have been doing. Yeah. Like one of my sister wanted to buy a land to expand also. So tujenda tukachanga changa. And then she got at a 20, or was it 10, 10 acres? And that is how we do. Yes. Because it doesn't hurt. Aki, aki, aki endelea vizuri when she's, uh, make it in life. Me. We also feel good. Yes. So that is how my, my dad alituweka, mm. na katulea, mm. being uni, having unity. Mm. And uh, to me, it is amazing. And we are doing the same with our kids. Yes. Ukipata watoto wetu wote, my brothers, and see, who tajua ni nani. You not, don't know my kids. Kama tunaenda kuwapereka out, we take them, all of them. So, akuna, yani, nona wow. venye muna kuwanga na get together, yes. you're looking for this brother, yeah. you're looking, muna kuwanga wapi, ati wacha tu, uu, ati siyo, uu, 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 sisi ya tuna iyo. Mm. Watoto wetu, utajua my brother na wangu, you will not realize. What, na wana pendana hivo. Because Beautiful. now, to be honest, you see this swimming pool, mm. tuliyaka juu ya wawo. 
all of them wanashindanga huko ni vile saa hizi wa, wa yeah. wengi wako wa, 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 wa nini eh. wako huko kwa shamba mm. wanashindanga kwa, kwa apa. so na wote kama kwa my father and ka, inakuwa kama mkutano ya ya, ya, ya city council ya ile ya, ya nini eh. wote wanaenda hapo na mm. tumeonyeshwa hivyo na wachangui mtoto wa huyu na huyu hapana wow. wote so ametuonyesha that unity eh. and we are using it mm. even with this mm. with this uh, one book yes. yes i see people when they go to the supermarket yes. they look for apples that have a certain shape eh. kale kana kaa kame, kame nini eh. but the reception you guys are getting mm. on wambogo apple yes. is crazy people yes. don't even care how it looks you know let me ask you lin yeah. okay, when you eat this apple ikifika kwa tubu itafika ikiwa hivi <laughs> Itafika ikiwa round. Okay, umeenda umetafuta hiyo round. Kana shine. Umeenda unatafuta hii hii shapeless. Yes. Ikifika kwa tumbo, itakuwa inaongea lini na likula ya round. <laughs> <laughs> no. But quality and the nutritional value that you get, that is what you're supposed to look for. Afadhali upate mandizi na kasu mm. ambayo oh, anapo mm. aina uhushidwe uh, this but it's organic. Yes. Let me tell you. You you live uh, 221 d- mm. years in this world. Yeah. <laughs> you live a very yes. long life and very healthy. Yeah. Kuna you going to the hospital. An apple a day. Yes. Keeps the doctor. Please don't look at the shape. Please Quality. remove that. This thing is so much on Africans. We should remove that. Ati, no no no. Why is kwanza kuna mtu aliniza? Why is your apple looking this? Amuza kwani unakula shape? <laughs> You are eating an apple. I mean period. <laughs> and whatever you are getting out of that yes. it is what matters. Mm. Kama ni around forget about the round. Yes. yes. It's what when matters. When you go to the shelves, me sijaenda America and one go I've been invited so many times and you can sijaenda and uh, those people who are there they say when you go to the shelves of the organic product they are always empty. empty. And also they are very expensive. Well, yes. we enda UK. Eh. Siku moja uende wa gari. Eh. And they are very expensive. Yeah. Why? Because one, we don't use chemicals to, to kuharakisha mm, process. We let it be. Mm. Usiharakisha, we do it God's way. So they are, they are very quality because at work is all to harakisha to work is to nini to harakisha vile kuku ina harakisho ikue within two weeks imekuwa kuku ya kukura and all what you are do, eating is those chemicals in awekwa beautiful so this is quality yes and i will say this and this this let's look for the organic fruits or organic products this will take us far tutaishi hakuna cancers look at what the percentage of cancers mm. and other issues mm. i don't know what mm. it is because what, we are what we are because of what we are eating yes. if you are going to hit 200 years if god give you that mm. with the grace of mm. god you will be that because of what you are eating hawezi kuwa na hiyo miaka na unakula saa zote unakula junk junk to not take you alafu tunagalia kare kat no no let's go for organic mm. that is quality yes. when you take it to our body perfect, perfect. on the other hand We have money in the bank. In the bank. What's yes. the valuation of Wambogo <laughs> apple? How hey. what's the estimate? How many wow. billions? I don't know. Hey. Don't write but it's yeah. billions. It's billions. I would say big, big billions yeah. because if we are going to be doing that uh, mm. whole container mm. for three three countries mm. is big and Beautiful. it's huge. But the amazing thing is that a kid in Marsabet or in Loitok Tok whatever who have never tested an apple we have read them in the books a for apple or a for apple me i was for a for apple yeah these kids for a for apple ah so this is what a for apple so those for a for apple in in lodwa in marsabit in dadab that they c- couldn't even they don't they only know an apple in cartoon or in the books but now they can be able to eat an apple me there was a, a project that I, we, my husband we were trying to say if you know every time we have to involve the mm, government mm. that an apple a day for a, a every going school kid not only in the cities Even those in the interiors villages. they need good health this is what you are looking for even if it's not for making money for your own that you are not dying there because of illness or you are weak yes. that kid there would be enjoying that yes. an apple that go, you go to school you get an apple you are going to school today you get an apple mm. that is the initiative i would be so happy yeah. and i would say one thing we have been complaining about government i told you we went to the office of okefis sometimes lean it needs you to wake up 
and go there. Talk to them. We talk to Kefis. They have now verified our product. Yes. And the other thing is that now we'll be exporting. Not every time we, we sit down and say government this, government that. Sometimes we need to wake up on the ground and we hold our hands. I come to you, we hold our hands. Mm. We'll be exporting or we'll be supplying in the whole Kenya. The government will be looking for you. Before I wind up, yes. let's talk. We are seated, We are actually doing this interview in one of the most beautiful <laughs> cottages yes. I've seen. Mm -hmm. And for me, mm -hmm. it's how you've been able to put them together yes. in such a stylish uh -huh. way. Uh -huh. What do your people... Yeah. say once they come here yes. and also now like the guy i'll interview next yes. the one from canada yes. when they come here uh -huh. what are they coming to learn wow this i as i mentioned yeah. is that we did because of the people that i've been working with and i've been working now not only for kenya mm. and other african countries mm. and like caribbean and yes. other countries and one day it was by fire by force to do this because one day i we we hosted Twelve at a go. You see, you found a Canadian yes. here, a Ghanaian here, yes. and a, a, Ghan, a, a Ghanaian, uh -huh. yes. and two uh, Nigerians, two Nigerians, and a uh -huh. Ghanaian. Botswana left here yesterday. So one day we found ourselves Malawi, Ghana, Nigeria, Grenada, uh, Jamaica, two Jamaicans who are living in U UK, and I think there were twelve of them, different countries, and we found the, like the, these guys, four of them, they are yes. here. They f we found them here and we are like wow they have arrived where are we taking them because the hotels are very far yeah. and also us to facilitate to pick them and bring them and you see they are 12 yeah. but unless we take a bus yeah. remember these are remote area mm. so we said with my husband i think these are called wake up so we start we 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 had almost giving them the, our bedroom yes. to sleep yes. and then we go we join yeah. our father yeah. to sleep there mm. so from that point we sat down with my husband and said, what are we going to do? So we, we, we went to my dad and we stayed. We need to sit to do something. So that's why we come up with these cottages that can be able to accommodate like this room here, can accommodate like four mm, or five people mm. because we have double yes, six double, bed there. Yeah. Yes. So we said, because we couldn't be able to do much, we mm. said, let's start with three cottages yeah. so that because some of these people will come, mm. imagine mixing uh a, a Car Caribbean yes. with a Kenyan I, or with yes. they don't know each other yes. because we have different, different personalities and mm. cultures. So he said we cannot be putting people together mm. and as much as we are taking them to, through this uh, education, mm. we also need to make them live well. So we decided to do some cottages which we also continue. We would be doing some more uh, depending on the funds. Beautiful. So we decided to do them. Beautiful. And then we said, uh, we want to do it differently. We have known lean. Farmers, they are very poor. But we want to change that narrative. We want to make to, to tell you that you can live well. Yes. As lo and you are a farmer. Yes. So we set we had to do a, this setup hey. in a farm. Yeah. In a round one. Mm. You feel like it's that African mm. house. Yes. But inside then we gave it a, that beautiful. western. That western yeah. feel. So people would come here and say, God, kid. How much are you charging? Yes. He said, no, I'm not. I'm the ambassador. I'm not charging any. What uh, do you mean? I said, no, I'm not charging. Yeah. It's like when I visit you in your yes. farm, in your house, and you give me somewhere to sleep. Yeah. So we, we said we are not charging. Mm. And why we are not charging? We just want to, to exercise what of my yes. father showed at the from, legacy. Yeah, the legacy. Yes. So we give you, we come here, yeah. you have a night. And you have hot shower, and Beautiful. I'm telling you, they they, nice they, they say this is a five five it's star. A five star. <laughs> it's, no, it's a five star. But uh, all glory to God because Amen. God is. Amen. And, and all all this credit go back to God mm. because He's He's so amazing. Because imagine uh, making sure that we are not struggling, even building like this. That is God. So we would, you, uh, guests could come here. Let me tell you, we have hosted no, more than thirty countries, thirty over who have been visited here and have spent here and we give them breakfast we yes. give them lunch we give them dinner and then what you buy here is only trees mm. and then you go back I and we that. don't charge you anything anything yeah beautiful yeah and also embracing each other yeah. yeah and showing you that you are being a farmer is not a must you live that's why many people are in the city they are nice houses nice cars you have hot shower electricity you know, he is there so you feel like ah 
you know kitambo una una unaambia mzee niwekea maji ya ya kuoga eh ni cha unaweka unaweka kuni but let me tell you we want to change that mm. so that people would also love to come to the farm to come because back to there the villages there is money in the farm Lynn. yes billions of money uh-huh. in the farm yeah. and we have seen people go and change their farm mm. they had a very small house somewhere and they are capable of doing uh, big things but they go there are going to change even the way the workers uh, stay yeah. you not lia that is me once is only that i'm putting this up on little abasa dacket mm. when you find me with my other uh, attires in the farm you not know me we are so tight you can't because we are all in the farm yes. so we change that that you have a a very bad house uh, for the workers and yours is nice yeah. so we have put everything and Beautiful. we are changing this so that even them yeah. they cannot feel that they are appreciated Good. so they live we it's a lesson yeah. the way you, you you interact with your workers and the way you live how many workers do you have now Right now we have 30 in this farm full time yeah and now with the with the pack house yeah. we'll be having more than 40 wow yeah so you almost 100 people you know the cashews who come here yes. and that because yeah. around this place mm. but uh, we thank god we Amen. are somewhere beautiful yeah. mm-hmm. i love the man i've enjoyed this interview so it's just one of those wow. interviews that stuck in yeah. but i see you are stunting yes. a bit eh? what's yeah. your dream car <laughs> hey look at <laughs> me for range range range, range rover unaenda kununua wapi aba seda lazima unaenda kununua wapi nafikiria nikwambie niambie enda tu hapo kwa maridadi ununue gari oh, yes. Maridadi yes. Maridadi did our our, our we did, we've done almost four cars yeah. with Maridadi no way yes I know them. Fari. In fact, let me tell you my first car nilikopa kwao. No way. I'm telling you. Na, my fielder. Na hisi mimi unasaidia. <laughs> <laughs> my first car was yes. um fielder, Toyota fielder and I got it at Pale Kiambu. Yes, Kiambu That, Road. Yes. So Kiambu Road. So yes. I did How are their services? No, for real? Are, I'm telling you they are perfect. Nisikwe na nafanyanga tu hapa. Mimi mm. sifanyi advert. Mm. I always say this. Too. Yes. And let me tell you. Guy, what I did? <laughs> I wish my dad you know. I have a friend mm. my, to me, we serve with her in church. Yeah. I'm a present worship of Mary Luya. Your voice is beautiful God, by yes, the way. And I Jana yes. Tumeba sana. So, mm. that lady my account was not good by then. So I told Miriam, please, I want a car. Please let me use your you know and attack a statement nikajua ananyi hamnijui so nika my friend she is very good na mimi tu msaidia na life that's why i'm telling you yes. to support each other mm. imagine would you accept someone to use your account no. a copy guard no but my 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 friend tumetoana mbali eh mbali ukach so she she accepted mm. i use her account mm. so nika akasema no problem kate so we went there with her, with her because no one account yet yes. and then i did the deposit that mm. i wanted to do i think i they gave us with 80% or so yes. so we were supposed to give the 20% mm. so i deposited in my my friend's uh, account uh, then i used her account yeah. was good because she had a, she had a school yes. which i also helped her to build it up yes so i went to my daddy wakasema it's okay and that's how i got my oh. my car so i was the one paying yeah, in dialect you know yes. in bottom mm. and i cleared it so the second one i went with my account wow yes i saw the filter yes. i took um vanguard yeah so i went like that like that eh, i'm looking for a range rover it's that man a range rover i'm the man i mean i me i always appreciate mm. myself from you your mouth yeah. to god's ears and with you god gotta elevate everything is possible yes and without math you have done there when you hear kate is doing a helicopter hautasema ni ni wash wash wambogo apple helicopter yes. can be such a good idea exactly yes. tunatoka hapa naenda kisumu yes. i do some training yeah. And up on and I'm Peketoni yes, Malindi yes, yes. and I do it and then come Actually back. the question yes. should be why not? Yes. Why not? So I'm looking for Range Rover. Yes. Tell my daddy mm. but the kit is coming. Um, she is coming. Oh do you love bonus? Uko ni home by the way. Do you love bonus watanipea leo? Christmas. Hapo ni home. My people go support me man. Go support me. Mimi na hustle man. But yes, I appreciate. Yes, yes. Right. I appreciate the Kalibu plug sana. but Kate Asante sana. Thank you. The people who would want to come here, the mm-hmm. people who would want to buy yes your products the yes. people who would want to come for training yes. all those things eh? mm-hmm. kwanza hesabu ya training ni how much we don't charge you, for training you charge for the just for the plant, plant. and, and one plant is Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Or one thousand yeah. Kenyan shillings. Would you wear dollar in Mepanda? In Mepanda, like in Kenya. Like in Kenya, to na baki na one k. Eh. Like in Zasa. Hmm. Sisi yata ikipanda. Yeah. Uh. 
tunakula lazima tukule mm. so you see at the pampada tuache kukula yes we lazima have to tukule eat. and that's why we mm. want to eat healthy mm. dio hiyo pesa tusitumie atunaenda kutibiwa unaenda india sijui wapi true. so you just be healthy mm. yes for those people oh. who would want to come along mm-hmm. train and just, they just come w- w- na wapata wapi they just come yes. here it's open Where, but how can they find gates. you ni me notice eh we tufungangi uh, but they can also recharge through yes. can i give the number yes please ah, okay we have our set international because yes. there are people your video nimeona ikiwachiwa na watu eh i mean i mean watch out get 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 acha kunibeba hivyo yeah 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 wewe na wademaya this are my tuko 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 pale uko hivi but we salute you we yes. celebrate Thank you. why not if you don't celebrate others who celebrate you yes. we say sal- i salute you go I girl appreciate it. you know you are Aww. a girl like miss wife oh Aww. so we can go this yes <laughs> so we can do this we can do I it i appreciate it <laughs> so thank mm-hmm. you so much mm-hmm. and uh, those who want to reach us yeah. and come for training yes. as for trees and all that they can reach us from 0722 yeah for you to make those money mm. hata kama utanilipa huko nyuma god has been pay, doing it and Amen. has been paying it Amen. Yes. and you are a bassanda for real yes. you your dad yeah. your family yes. your mom uh-huh. what you've done uh-huh. for this country wow. you might wow. not know it wow. right now uh-huh. but i believe in the years to come yes. wambogo yes. apples yes. it's already in the names of the who is who iko kwa hiyo list mm. but i hope one day uh-huh. unajua venye tuna tuna, tuna, tuna tum, tukiona sauti sol wa kiwin uh-huh. we are like yes yes, 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 yes you yes, know yes. We, nataka nikiingia amerika nikiingia wapi mm-hmm. unaona tu wambogo wow, apples wambogo apples wambogo apples. apples across all nations and you know what lina eh? with the, what we call climate change mm. nowadays what do you know why it is happening mm. people have been cutting the trees but the fruit trees imagine how utaikata you be yani utaipea manure and all that mm. eh? and this will be there over 8 years yes. so I would urge also because of the climate change eh? we do more fruit trees eh? and this one we can do 80% of fruit trees mm. and then the 20 mm. this way do you think you can cut an apple tree do you think you can cut it for firewood one it's giving you money secondary mm. in a tango or carbon whatever yes and that's how people get carbon credits so it has a lot let me tell you and i would advise let's do fruit trees it will not be too hard for you to cut a tree which has fruit Good. which is give even look at the people who are doing avocado yeah. wizi kata yes. the oranges the dragon the wapoko apples wizi utailinda hata buzi ya sikule mm. but imagine aka, aka, you carry pata somewhere hata inakunywa maji bure Alafu you go there to cut it for firewood for tiba but he kabra ikatwe i will take eight years. years so for that climate change let's go for fruit trees yes. thank you jifu i thank really you. love being here your energy <laughs> wow. your dad's energy wow. your mom mm-hmm. even the way you welcomed us here the wow. way we found you had prepared yeah. <laughs> breakfast for us which we are about to go eat that is our lifestyle that is our, you know it's hapa unakujanga ukiwa na nja na next time si mimi na sala eh yeah, anajua yeah. kule kwa barabara anajijua alafu <laughs> nakuja unapata hapo umeyekewa a table of all Imagine. different things like we are, you are not forgiven yeah. but thank you Kate Karibu. allow me to wrap up right. and i hope people ha- this is this is like one of the best beautiful mm. interviews wow. i've ever you. done like thank you. you will learn also and the energy mm. for me it's the energy wow. it's so beautiful and now i can see mm-hmm. why wambogo apples mm-hmm. is where it is yes. so may god bless your business Amen. may he go before you Hallelujah. may this be international you know may mm-hmm. a lot of people benefit yes, from yes. what your family has been sure. able to yes. create yes. and may all things and Thank glory you. go yes. to god i'll give you wambogo you. apples yes. is crunchy mm. it's organic yes. it's sweet it's juicy and it's real is real na tunaweza tengeneza pesa mi 
yes. naenda kwanza wa mbogo apples rotten say yes. so, you are for the rotten <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm for the rotten, wow, but my people, sana. yes, yeah. I got a bounce. Mm-hmm. I have another interview coming up shortly because okay. I found someone here and I was like, God, his story is amazing. And I want you guys to be able to see why would someone come all the way from Canada just to tour the farm and just see for himself. What is it that farming is doing to us right now? And what is nini kwa hapa kwa Mbogo Apple? So I'm sure it's gonna air either tomorrow at 10 a.m. or the next day at 10 a.m. So don't go anywhere. Le ata siwezi wa uzia gari za maridadi zishaji user. So guys, go, go. And then hapo, Celine sent you. And then I like it when you nayo. And they don't just sell you cars. They don't just import cars for you. They have an investment plan you can check it out they have a driving school they have a car wash company kuna sparkling go take your car your duvets kila kitu they are all round and once again eric thank you for holding our platform and just being an incredible supporter of our work we wouldn't do it without you na pia wale watu wenye mnajisikia kutu hii kazi pia kuangi rahisi ndio namba ya mpesa for those who have been asking iko on the screen kate asante asante mimi acha saa kwanza ni kule to, uh, kwa katasi of lean yes yeah, tungekuwa naenda tungekuwa hivi kwa maisha naenda haki na braile yes. ukiona mimi na range rover yeah. ni juu li bai hapo waniambie yes. lean hapina <laughs> leads eric i'm naenda. coming see ya so trust the process one day your life is gonna change keep on believing.